Hey everybody and welcome to episode 15 of the Deadly Difficulty series. In this episode we take on Corrupted Cove, Wrecked Ship and Shadow Weld. We got two side scenarios here and then on to a final mission to, to finish the session. And this was really, really good trying to play on brand new party. So three new mercenaries. This is the first time we've had these together and uh, rolled out. And it definitely presented some challenges and some interesting moments. So yeah, quite an interesting episode, this one for sure. If you would like to catch an episode of the Deadly Series live, you can come over to twitch.tv slash mandatory quest. I stream on Mondays and Wednesdays, the Deadly Series. And on Sundays, it's the community save. So that's when we actually play multiplayer. So if you'd like to play multiplayer with me, then and Sunday is the best stream for that, but Mondays and Wednesdays for the Deadly streams. All right, then let's get into this episode of the Deadly playthrough. Okay, then. So today we are going to pick up where we left off from the last session. So we're going to uh, have to sort all of our cards out. We've got our new characters, though, all ready to go, ready to go. But we need to uh, pick our cards that we're going to play with. And we need to do our items because we haven't done any shopping yet. So we've got 90 gold. Um, we need to get like a good combination of items with the 90 gold that we've got. Uh, got wealth level 5, so we've got a good selection of items here. I can't remember, did I go for the perk or not? I did. I think we probably are going to wear some armor here. So whether or not we spend a lot of armor, like a lot of money on armor early, I, I'm not so sure. This is quite a nice armor for this character, I've found. I, I quite like it. I think it's, uh, I think it's decent. Especially considering that we don't have any of the higher levels anyway. But 45 gold is a lot to spend right now. So perhaps we might skip an item like this for now. Because really we want to look at things that are going to give us um, synergy with Flurry of Axes for, for other items too. So we definitely want something like... Um, I think we probably want... We might want Jump Boots to begin with actually, right? I think maybe Jump Boots. Yeah, I think maybe Jump Boots to begin with. Unless... Does this have Jump on it already? Uh, where are you? No, strength and agony. We need to enhance jump eventually. The, the idea is to enhance jump on this, but so I think it. I think it's fair to say that we should get that. We we could enhance something, but honestly, the thing with enhancement size, I don't think you should immediately start with them with any character because you can only play a card like you know one time, or you can cycle it a few times or whatever. I feel like an item can potentially give you a little bit, a little bit more um, usefulness to begin with. So. Uh, for 15 gold as well. That's pretty cheap. We'll, we'll get that to start. We definitely need health potions and stamina potions and loads of them <laughs> on this character. That is a for sure. Um, we are a character who gets beaten up quite quickly, but let's make sure we get our money here. 75. So this would be 60 if we went for this and this. So that would be 50 if we went for this and this. Don't know if we want to... We could go for Major Power Potion. If we went for this, 30, 40, 50, that would be 60. That would give us 15 gold left. How much is Eagle Eye Goggles? 25. Really, we need to probably get this. Although we will be enhancing Strengthen, but Strengthen costs a lot in this, um, in this version because of the new changes to the enhancement cost. I think it's like the bare minimum of it. It's about 100 now. So it's 100 gold to get strengthened on the bottom of one of our cards. So we're probably going to end up needing these for a little while. Let's get this first because I think this is actually quite important. Um, you know, we don't want to be playing Flurry of Axes without it, really. Unless we have some other way of strengthening. Uh, so that gives us 50. So we could go this and this. I mean, that's a pretty good two-item combination. Or we do go in... For the armor, I mean, 45. That is three shield, three retaliates. Pretty good. But two potions is hard to uh, hard to pass up. I could go for an invisibility cape, actually, for instead. That's possible. I like that for when you jump into a room, flurry of axes, and then you're just like, okay, I need to just chill out. But eventually, Flurry of Axis is going to be a, a completely different set of items. So we, we will need Hawk Helm instead of this. But we don't need Hawk Helm right now, I don't think. Like, we won't get it right now. We'll go Goggles. Then once we get our Enhancement for Strengthen, we sell these, we buy Hawk Helm, and then we're, we're away, I think. Invis for now, save up the other stuff later. I, th I think that might be a good idea. Because that also gives us kind of like... 
But then this is like 50. This is bang on. This is too nice to just give 50, right? And I, and I don't know how much invisibility I can really do with this party right now. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for these. I think that's a I think that's a pretty good start. We're definitely gonna have to sell items and kind of work our way with the gold on this character for sure. Okay. So for Orlando Doom. This could be our invis guy. We could get invis on this guy. He doesn't nearly need anything else unless we have like a really, really powerful. No, we, blinking cape is like insane on this character, but I don't, I don't think we're, we're gonna get it. So probably invisibility. We don't have very many minus ones, do we, in our deck? One, no, not really a second skin kind of guy. All right, we'll go sword edge. Plus, to be honest, we have uh, expose. Oh wait, what sword edge? No, not sword edge. Ah, all right, just waste a load of gold. Why? Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, God's sake. Cloak. Oh, it's been a long day. I've had a long day, chat. Well, that was a fucking waste, wasn't it? That's 20, 20 gold down the tubes. Ugh. Emotes work now. Yeah, they're back. You can bonk me all you like, chat. You can bonk me all you like. Ugh. What's that now? 30 now? All right, I think this is a pretty nice start. Weighted net is actually a pretty good value item in this uh, difficulty just because you're sometimes going to want to just immobilize something. And uh, we have a couple of um, of sort of nice little attacks that we can just throw this on occasionally. So I think weighted net's actually like pretty nice. So we're, I think eventually we'll probably end up getting something like stun powder and stuff on all, all Orlando as well. I deserve like three or five bonks for that misclick. <laughs> yeah, that was annoying. I don't know why, but I was just... I don't know why I just picked that. I have no clue. It's been a long day, all right? It's been a long day. Um, probably looking at Hawk Helm here, actually. Or empowering... Actually, empowering Talisman is going to be super clutch. Just get empowering Talisman. We're going to need to loop some things. So it's all going to be about the potions and empowering Talisman. We're going to need to loop some things. And then 20 gold. 20 gold. I guess we could get the Invis Cape on you too, huh? Just in case I want to open a door. Alright. I think that's pretty nice. Oh, 5 gold. We can actually get a, a little minor one for 5 gold, can't we? We can. Hello? Five. Oh, level five. Oh my god, what a day I'm having. I can't even read, guys. <laughs> I can't even read today. Oh, right. Dead in the game. Cards. Oh, this stream's gonna be fun, thanks. I'll snap out of it eventually. Okay, let's go through cards that we want. So, Resolute Stand, probably, because of the 9 uh, initiative. Also, just for the top, where we can eventually maybe kill something if we need to with this. Um, Strength and Agony, definitely. Defiance of Death, definitely. From the Brink, generally, no. Do not play this. Um, because I don't really uh, care about getting up to max health. Like, I don't really play the character that way. A blood pack, yes. Quarter eyes, yes. Dazing wound, maybe. We'll maybe come back to this. We might cut this right now. 
Bounce back, yes, because the heal one on the 40 initiative and the heal one is very important. And barrel power, glass hammer, no. Uh, numb the pain, yes. Break the chains, yes. Ooh, okay. So maybe not numb the pain. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. I need some sawdust. <laughs> yeah, perk me up. Well, if I don't play Numb the Pain... I kind of need all of these. I guess Resolute Stand is like the worst, but I really dislike not having at least a couple of low initiative cards. Then we'd be down to like 14, and then our next best is going to be, what, 30? Yeah, that's terrible. We need to have a couple. Hmm... Break the change is also pretty good. Maybe we don't run spiked armor. But then Blood Pact is really good to get with spiked armor. It depends if the enemy's got retaliate. If the enemy's got retaliate, I really dislike playing it. I guess the 16 initiative is maybe okay. I could swap a 9 for 16, but. One of the key numbers to get underneath is 15. Like, for me, I need to have initiatives under 15. Because 15 is the, the bandit guard or the guard initiative, right? That really screws you over. Um, there's a living bones one that's on 15. I think the archers, I think maybe under 14 is probably the best, best spot. Because that also clears the archer deck. But... Going from a 9 to a 16 is actually a pretty big deal here. I really want to play Blood Pact. Hmm. I could maybe get rid of Fatal Fury instead here. And just play Spiked Armor instead. Let's try it like this. And if we have any problems, we can always come back. The thing with Fatal Fury is this is quite... This can be quite good. Sometimes it's not, though. Depends on the scenario. Okay, good. That'll do for you. Right. For you? Probably yes. No. No. No, yes. Maybe. Maybe. No. No. Yes. No falcon, I'm afraid, guys. No falcon. Yes, but only when I've enhanced it. So we'll keep it there for now. Um, you want fresh kill. Explodes. This, this, this. Oh, there you go. That was nice and easy. Easy. So we can run a moment's piece. We'll eventually enhance Bless onto this. That's when you, things start to get real crazy on this character. Now, this is the real, real interesting one because we're going to have to play very, very um, controlly here. Very active and very controlly. So, Disorienting Raw is okay, but the swap can sometimes be insane. So, we, we might need to bring this back in. Kind of same thing with this. Sometimes you can just, you know, get that really tricky enemy to the front and then you can kind of deal with them. There are a few, there are a few things you can do with these two, which... I don't know if I want both of them, but certainly at least one of these. Um, don't mind this card, actually, because it allows us to play a control card and attack and poison something else as well. Potentially. So I actually, I actually quite like that. This is a move five, which we're going to need movement. So we want to play the top of this. Um, Disappearing Wounds is probably pretty bad. Patch Fur is actually quite nice because we're going to want to heal the bear a, a fair bit, I would say. Maul's actually quite nice. Forceful Swipe is... Uh, I would say pretty mediocre, so we'll, we'll, get, we'll get, probably get rid of that. Howling Bolts, also very mediocre. So 
So yeah, Borrowed Essence. So this is what we were talking about earlier. I don't think it's too bad, but this party is not going to generate air and it's not going to generate earth. So this will end up being quite an underwhelming top. The bottom can be quite useful if we can heal ourselves a lot. But again, like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Um, we definitely want Earthen Spikes, Ancient Ward. These are some of our best cards. Rampage is okay. It just allows the bear to move a little bit. But actually, I actually quite like this. Let's get rid of something here. I feel like we can get rid of something. Do I have any good moves myself? I don't really right now, do I? I have a move three and a move five. Okay, well, I think we might have to get rid of one of these two. Now, do I want to use Disorienting Raw? Disorienting Raw is quite nice, actually. And then we just have to swap in the bag when we need it. I think that's okay. Yeah, there we go. I think this is fine. It's worth a go. We might end up... We I usually end up going for the initiative boots with this character, but we might actually change that this time because if we're going to be moving a lot, we, we might actually need um, some movement boots. And because we've got an invisibility cape, we might be able to open a door. Right. Quest. What should we go on? We've got deep ruins, shadows within. Uh, we could go just for like a... Oh, we said we were going to do the giant ooze today, didn't we? Should we go do the giant ooze? This actually might be a good quest to, uh, for Orlando Doom. Sort of like a boss quest. I like it. These guys are pretty horrible. These guys are pretty horrible. Retaliate. No retaliate. Shield. I'll get twos. This, is, this could be quite hard, but hey, I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Let's give it a go. Claw Patrol could have gotten an extra potion. Yeah, but I don't think there's any other potion that I really the care about. The corruption inaccessible by land. You I, I just want stamina potions the and then the rest of the gold can go on something else. Rock well, we'll save it. At the base of the far cliff, you see an inlet into a dark cavern and the water coming out of it is a sickly green color. Ooh. You moor the boat inside the cavern, jump out, and follow a rocky corridor deeper inside. As you travel, the stone floor becomes more and more covered in a sticky, slippery ooze. You are resolved to find the source of this horrid corruption, but a number of lurkers in front of you seem to want to stop you in that endeavor. Get out of my way, lurkers! Kill five or more monsters during the scenario. Kill one or more elite monsters. Hmm. Let's do five or more. I mean, we're going to probably do a big flurry at some point. Kill three or fewer. Nope. Allow none of your allies to become exhausted. Sure. We also need to make sure we're doing perks, right? This is a very important character to do perks on because it's our retirement. So I need to keep more of a keen eye on that. Um, I mean, I could maybe try that. To be honest, I don't know what the layout of this scenario is like. Maybe that'll be fine. Let's give it a go. If the giant is in another room, it might be a bit harder. Because we'll probably long rest before we go into that room. Ah, there is. Uh, it's only two rooms, though, so we could just go in this. And it's only three enemies. That's pretty, um... It's pretty easy for us to deal with. Delete here. PS4. Isn't it good that none of our characters have a shield? Ha! Joke's on you, lurkers. Um, okay, so first turn, cauterized blood pact is like literally my favorite thing to do. Um, we know that we're just going to have to pretty much go for this guy. <laughs> it's not even funny how quickly we're going to need to go for this guy. Uh, and what a surprise! Ancient ward to the rescue straight away. Uh...
fast animations. 11. Well, that's okay. But it's going to wound here. But that's okay. All right, off to a good start. And actually, what's really nice now is we get... We can actually kind of do some back-to-back -back control here, which is really nice, because we can just disarm these two and then just worry about dealing with this one next turn. It actually works out quite nicely for us. Very, A very favorable first turn for us, definitely. All right, so now we can just Ancient Ward these two, which is great. Stop them from doing anything. No, I was obviously hoping that this shield would come into play a little bit here, but... And it is what it is. Um, I may as well use the goggles here because I'm not going to be doing... Well, it's only an attack one, actually, into shield two. Let's not use the goggles. There's no point. <laughs> Technically an attack two, I guess, with blood pack. Well, we drawed, drawed like an absolute god anyway, so no worries. <laughs> right, unbridled power it is. So we don't have to do this particularly early. But I might be sort of jumping up into this area here. I think I want to go quite early here and just concentrate rage this. And um, I don't want to do a heal one yet because I kind of want blood packed to trigger here before I do this. 51. 51 is not great initiative to do this on. But, I mean, if I take one here, here, that's not that bad, really. It's really not that bad. I'm going to press the attack on this one. And uh, to be honest, I'm probably going to do this really late. And then I'm going to change... Well, I say late. I'll do it on 54. Maybe change to detonate, depending on what happens with this and this. Oh, well, actually, I keep it. I might just keep it as it is, actually. I'll just do wild command. Yeah, that's probably better. 23. Look at how fast we kill. It's unbelievable how fast this character kills. That was maybe a bad use of that, because really you want a different Doom up to do that. You want one of the Dooms that gives you plus attack, like innately to attacking it. This is only an attack too, so... Go on, bear. Tanking. A champ. Ooh. Ooh. What a guy. Um, this guy's dead to race to the grave next turn. I feel like we can probably deal with this. Oh. Plus we got this anyway, right? Yeah. No! Well, 
Well, I guess maybe it's a good time to draw them now. That's not on script. Uh, let's go. We will move a little bit here. May as well. I think we may as well. Mm hmm. some big damage to this one this turn hopefully come on big damage i really want this to fall off please Drawing it on a stun hurts oh. a little less. Yeah. That was why I always didn't mind the rolling stuns with the old rules, because at least you stun something. There we go. Nice. Try and take me on. I dare you. May as well get the XP. Otherwise, I'm just doing a default attack to here and there's no reason to do it at all. Maybe I'll just get the bonus here. All right. Clean so far, chat. Very clean so far. Probably going to be in a good position to play exposed and just kind of move move on a little bit here. I don't think I really need to attack much here. Damn bear. I should have bought that loot card with the bear. Get him towards the door. Should be able to kill this with uh, our other characters, hopefully. You hope. Alright, so now we have Expose up. We sh any kind of boss, we should be, like, really quite favoured against. If the Lurker dies, I'll lose the Balgol for the... That's true. I could just leave him there, I suppose, and just open the door. Yeah. Problem is, is that uh, do I really care about battle goals? That's the thing, right? I, di I dislike that battle goal a lot because it forces you to do something that you're not comfortable with. I need to long rest on most of my characters at some point soon. So, oh. like Berserk has already kind of in long rest territory. I guess I could just sit here. Long rest next turn. Yeah, okay. I think we can maybe make it work. Let's go for it at least. With the immobilized, it's not it's not doing anything. And it'll die from the wound on its own sort of go. So 
I've got nothing to lose. I'm just a bit worried about opening a room and then there being loads of oozes in there that are just going to split. And that would be really, really miserable. Some of that gold. We need it. We're gonna need a lot of it. Hello? Battling through the lurkers, you make your way into the main chamber of the cavern, which is dripping with a thick, putrid slime. At the center of the room sits a massive lump of sentient ooze, mm. pulsating with malignant bile. Around you, other dark creatures emerge from the muck. The mass in the center seems to be controlling them. Forty... One, two, three... Eight shield! If you can find some way to destroy it, you may be able to end the corruption. So, to win, I just need to kill the ooze. Almost we start with three curses. If a mercenary ends their turn on a difficult terrain hex in the second room, the terrain is removed and they gain shield two from all ooze attacks plus immunity to poison for the remainder of the scenario. What? Are you kidding me? Where's that? Is that... Where's the difficult terrain? Are you kidding me? There's only like... Well, that's not very nice. There's, the giant ooze has a buff or something. Shield strength is equal to eight minus the number of dead oozes. Okay, so kill oozes. Right, I got gotcha. you. Unless... <laughs> Piercing bow. <laughs> Unless. Um. Is this guy just going to summon every turn as well? I bet you he is. What a guy. You didn't notice the first time and killed it with scoundrel's tricks to reversal. <laughs> nice. Whoops. What do I attack here? I'm trying to figure out like what's the most dangerous stuff here. We can you can kind of avoid the deep terrors, and I could kind of just take the fight around this door and mostly ignore these guys, which means that the imps are probably the most scary thing right now for me. Nice, nice. Curse. <laughs> the deck of the giant ooze is similar to that of normal oozes. Okay, so it just has like move, at, uh, range attacks and stuff like that as well. And I guess maybe the loot card. But I I guess the loot card would be kind of annoying. This seems like a really hard scenario for the bear, actually, now that I think about it. This bear's going to die so fast, right? I mean, he's already down to that, and he's now going to walk in and be like, Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, 
Hey, everybody, I got poison. Yeah, this bear's gonna be in a world of trouble. This has gotten very tricky. Then this deep terror comes into play. Yeah, this is this is a rough, rough scenario. I might just have to let the bear die. Quite honestly, I might just have to let the bear die. I just forget about him. I'm sorry, but he's, this is a really bad scenario for the bear. Uh, how am I going to stop him from dying? Unless I spend a load of resources to do so, which is probably not wise. This might be just a... See you later, bear. Just rush in and create everything or hack my save file. Okay. Good advice. I mean, flurry of axes in this room is going to look tasty when we get, get around to doing it. See, like, opening that door now has put me in a position like, what do I do? Do I long rest on my characters? I mean, I can. Is it a, is it a very wise thing to do? Probably not. Yeah, I'm just going to let the bear die. Sorry, bear. I mean, it was a good try. But he's, he's just such a liability. Well, they can't split that much more, right? Really? Go after these two. They're annoying. See ya. <laughs> he's just gonna he's not he's actually not gonna be attacked by like anything. How did he do it? <laughs> In a weird way the ooze is splitting is helpful. Because then there's more dead oozes to get rid of the shields, right? I need to kill like eight to get rid of all of the shields. Oh. It's kind of weird dynamic, this scenario, right? Kind of weird. I like it. Um, spiked armor might be okay to keep. Hmm. I just need to get them lower, I think. Detonation is going to be so good in this scenario, actually. Maybe we get rid of spiked armor here. It is a nice little attack, though. But there is a couple of... Oh, these are poison and immobilized. They're not that good. Hmm. Ready to break the chains. <laughs> Yogi Bear, you're a liability. Claw Patrol is already going... Is already thrown 
poor claw under the bus. I mean, a, a really late initiative might be okay at some point. But is it really going to be that good? I mean, I've used my invis already. So it's not like I've, I'm going to be able to do that. So how good really is that now? Probably not that great. Everything else here, though, is pretty nice. So Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm just going to have to go early as most of the time. All right, so I have a couple of options here. I could jump in and try and go for it. I don't know if that's a, a really great idea. Um, to a long rest here. That was the plan. I just let the bear die, really. I know, very sad. But what else can I do? You know, potentially I'm going to be the person who's going to be attacked soon. Like where I'm stood is not a great place to stand. I could put race to the grave on it and just try and you know last out, but I think I need to use the other some of my other attacks. Oh, man, this is really bad. I don't really know what to do here. You like the spirit swap? I do have uh, this. I mean, I could swap the boss in, but I don't really know what that achieves here because the boss is just really hard to kill anyway. At the moment, I'm thinking I've got an okay detonate like here. Sure. Sure. I think I, I I don't know. I think I'm I think I'm pressed here. I think I'm kind of committed, you know. Unfortunately, I feel like I'm kind of committed here to having to do stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, if the oozes keep doing that though, that's fine for a while. Yes. Really, the imps, the imps are something that I'm quite scared of because the imps just kind of keep on coming and that's a bit of a problem. Can a boss be wounded? Probably not. Um, yeah, I think so. He's kind of like a mini boss. He's only immune to... He's immunity to visible, invisible, right? Because we played exposed, but he's not actually got any other regular immunities. So we can get a wound up on him, get a poison up to help negate that. It's actually pretty good. So I mean, we can do three damage a turn basically with race to the grave and a wound, which is, which is nice. But I don't think we have that many rounds. We have to definitely get that clock going a bit quicker. Yeah, it'll take quite a long time, right? The good thing is, though, is that these guys, like, aren't really going to be able to summon. So 
So that's kind of good. Nice. That's good. That's good. I really just want these guys to die, like, as quick as possible. There's only one card that will ever want to recover. <laughs> Oh, clutch. The bear lives to fight another day. And these deep terrors are just kind of annoying. I could swap. Oh, yeah, like maybe I swap the boss into like here. <laughs> An option. But I want to. If I can get it down to like three shield, I think I can like maybe get it from there, but. That was a really nice round. Really, really nice round. You went super aggressive to try and kill as many oozes as possible. Very risky, though. Yeah, I don't mind that idea, though. The whole get yourself to one of these hexes to give yourself shield 2 and immunity to poison is kind of cool, but also... They're really hard to get to. You have to go out of your way to do that. Okay. This guy's not immune to stun either. You know what time it is next turn, don't you? And if I, ki if I kill the elites as well, I don't have to worry so much about anything else. That's the other... That's kind of like the other good thing I've got going on here. That's fine. I don't even care about those imps. I feel kind of lucky that I haven't had curse on these gut from these guys yet. Oozes are splitting again. Oh my god, we're getting lucky. These are some really good draws right now. Really, really good draws. Oh man, so good. One, two, three, four, five. I think I, I think I still go off on this elite here though. Hey, Electric. Just made it home to see this situation I'm enjoying. It's a, it's a little bit of a situation, but so far the enemies have been... Um, they've been playing ball, so we've been okay. Does it not mention anywhere that the boss ooze should lose shit? It actually says it on the character, which is weird. It says it here, which is really... It's very odd, because you'd, you'd expect it to be a scenario condition. If it wasn't for the fact that, like, chat told me, he said, oh, is it bugged or something? I was like... What do you mean? And, uh, yeah, I looked up at this. Nice. He's dead. Kill the elites. Feels like a little bit of a waste. Kind of nice keeping the beast tyrant, uh, um, sorry, the uh, berserker at least a little bit kind of topped up with health. So far we've managed the health pretty well here, I would say. Um... Can't really get to where I wanted to be. I think 
to it's gonna get two. this guy's gonna die this is gonna die I guess I kind of want this to die. I can then get into this little spot in here. Plus, it's just, it's a it's a battle goal, right? And we need we need those. It's just gonna be so weird not being able to do that. But we'll see. Like, we don't... We're not stunning. That's the awkward part. This is where we need that invis cave. We don't have it. <laughs> we don't have it. And this is where we need it, really. All right. Their health has gone down pretty... Like, the shield has gone down pretty significantly now. No shield. I wonder if it'll go into minor shield somehow. Come on. Is it me or did it lose two every time as well? It was eight shield and then it's gone down like two shield every time. Feels like that was slightly, slightly weird. Maybe I'm wrong, but it, di it didn't feel right. Maybe this isn't the time to flurry. I think this isn't the time to flurry now. I could go one, two, three. I could get strength and agony, go in, do it there, which is pretty nice. But then I've got to retaliate and I've got all this other stuff. I feel like it's too dangerous. I think I just need to get out now. We'll quarterize. We'll get wound up on the boss maybe. And then we'll consider like kind of falling back a little bit. I think that's good. We got ancient ward. We're going to probably need to move here, so we'll, we'll play more. Yeah, I think we want a fresh kill on this. Essentially, just have like a little move. Just a little move. Just a, just a touch. Let me use solid bow as a move. Okay. Yeah, here come the big attacks. We've, we've managed to so far not have to deal with a turn like this. And now we're going to have a big one. This might be the turn the bear dies. <laughs> um. Range four, right? I think it's the I think it's probably it's these two here, I think. Probably. Or maybe this one. One, two, three, four. One step forward and go for this and this. This and this. Bear might already just be screwed here, guys. If only Craig was here with Wound NATO, <laughs> that would be pretty sweet right now. The problem is, is that if I let the bear die, which I'm kind of probably going to do. Then I don't want to be the kind of like the person left holding the ball here, you know.
gonna YOLO it, I think. Not bad. Not good. Damage! It's happening! Level 9 Craig will be wrecking here. Absolutely. Rip around there. <laughs> oh god. What's my range on this for? Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. Well, detonate's really good. I mean, I just need to get race to the grave, though, on this guy. Uh. The ooze is can technically heal, too, which is a bit, bit rubbish here. Yeah. I'm going to need to run away on the next couple of turns. I'm going to need to run away on the next couple of turns. Rust attack, swift trickery. Kind of hoping they're just disadvantaged and stuff somehow puts us ahead here. Oh, let's get these two back. I don't know. A lot of guards for one chest. A lot of losers for one chest. All right, good start, good start. I mean, that's probably the weakest attack, but... Oh. Might be worth, like, burning one card here just so that I can tank a couple more hits. How many more to go? This guy's got to go. Then there's like a couple of these have got to go. And this thing's got to go yet. Jesus. Well, it's either I burn the card now on the Beast Tyrant or I burn the card on someone else. At least I've got shield one here. I don't have shield one here. So... They're all attacking for four, though, so I would need them to draw... Even if they were to draw the minus two, it's just unfortunate we're on one health, right? If we're on, like, two or three health, we could have maybe a bit more play here. I probably should have burned a card to the previous attack, and then maybe I could have been sneaky. Like, even if they draw a minus two on attack four, they still do one, so... It's kind of, like, relevant here. I guess I'm just, I'm burning a card. It's just where I want the oozes, right? So now we die. Come on. Dude, that's not cool.
Well then. <laughs> we still got to get attacked by this. Now we're, <laughs> we're immobilized. Seems good. All right, well, this is going to get interesting now. The problem is I just don't have a big... I don't have a big... Stun or anything right now. <laughs> no, that's a lot, that's of, a lot damage. of damage. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have, like, run forward at this point. I mean, there's a point where I'm going to have to, but... Maybe I should just swap the ooze in. The big ooze into the front. I don't know. It's a really hard scenario. Like, really hard to judge what I should do here. I mean, I know that I'm just going to be doing Ancient Ward and something else, right? I could swap one of these Deep Terror Elites to the back. I mean, that might be a, an okay move, really, right? Swap this Deep Terror to the back. He's never going to be able to get me then. So we use Ancient Ward Disorienting Raw. And then that's it. That's all she wrote. Let's do our best. I think that's all we've got, really. That's all we can do. Kind of got to hope that I can get this off, too. If not, I do this and I short rest. And maybe I go for it next turn. Oh, this is rough. Maybe it's a Kobayashi Maru, Maru scenario. I'd love to know, say I knew that reference, but I don't. You regret reminding me about the Tyrant's Battle Girl? This one's on you. Well, I don't think it's necessarily all to do with that, though, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, not all, all, all of that. Oh, big damage, big damage. Okay. It's all right. 11 rounds, three damage a round and it never heals, right? That is actually all we need. Leave me alone. <laughs> I've now I've now gone on a run of having like really miserable draws, right? I remember when they were splitting. Those were the good old days. Remember the good old days. Thanks for the great content card and item discussion, and go jump in that ooze bond. <laughs> Thank you, Zulan. For the Prime Gaming sub two months in a row. Thank you so much for the support, buddy. I would love to jump in it, but I don't know if it's going to be a good idea. I really don't. <laughs> the quest continues, my friend. Thank you so much. I mean, I, I, I mean, if I do, I mean, I've got something going on here, right? There's something here. There's something here. 
Where's my closest ooze pond? There. There or that. I mean, that's not happening, is it? Make sure I don't accidentally just walk into that guy. Are these guys going to give me as well? Range four. One, two, three. I guess if I go here, they can't get me. Let's go try and kill this guy. Not that I really care about killing them now. That's the weird thing. Oh. Ooh, fire. We'll use that while we're not poisoned. Because when we get poisoned, inevitably, we won't be able to use that. Might be too late now, but don't give up. I think we still got a chance to win this. Because the, the win condition is very specific. If I had to kill all enemies, absolutely not. There's no chance in hell. <laughs> but the conditions are very specific. So... Never say never, right? Because I'm thinking, like, if I could detonate here, that's a lot of damage. And then if they were all to just, like, do a nothing turn and split. How many uses have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I maxed all uses anyway. It's just whether or not I gamble the split, I guess. Really, like, the scariest people right now is, is this Black Imp Elite. He's scary. So he's scary. These are obviously a little bit scary, but they have turns where they don't do anything. They have three cards in their deck where they do not do anything. That is, like, I mean, I'm not good at maths, but it's not 50%, but it's not far off. It's like 40-something percent. I don't know. Three out of eight. <laughs> so... Like there's a f and they haven't drawn them for a while. They've been attacking a lot. So I feel like I'm due. So therefore, I shouldn't really pressure them. But I should pressure the main news here. And I should try and finish these guys off. We're doing it. I don't even care. It's happening. And we're going to go late. And they're definitely, 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 definitely splitting. Like, 100%, they're splitting this turn. I'm not even going to, like, question it. They're going to split. That is what's happening here. They are splitting. There is no doubt in my mind they are splitting. None. Shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. How? Range three, though. I can easily run away from this. Ugh. Thirty-seven point five percent. Nice. Thanks, nerds. Appreciate it. Oh, we're so ready to do this this turn. This is what I need the invis cape for. Repeating, of course. Okay, don't forget the repeating. It's very important. Right, so now they must have, like, hardly any. Okay. 
Come on. Now I can't flurry because this is just... Th these are both cards that I need to flurry with. Rubbish. Not, not. Newt, newt. Hey, tut, tut. Hey, Porg. Retreat to one room for 10 rounds. I mean, if they never heal... Possible. Technically, Wild Command as well. Technically. Okay, there it is. Don't you dare muddle me. Hey, Skylord. Hang on. What? Oh, his deck is separate? I just assumed it was always the same deck. What? What? Whoa, okay. That changes things a little bit. Oh, easy now. Easy. Yeah, we should be able to nuke it down. Absolutely. Who would have thought that swapping this over here was like the play? The play of the century. So... Like, yeah, I just go for it, I think. I think I can win next turn, right? With some clever play. Do I not? Uh, don't use those still. Never doubted it for a second. <laughs> I mean, it was looking dodgy, but like I said, like the fact that this has got a very, very specific win condition. You can hopefully just kind of make something like this happen, right? Where you just kind of get, get a chance. I can't even believe that that was actually the last one as well. That was lucky as hell too. Press the attack. Look, I just want to move away, don't I, really? No heals. No heals. Oh, he's healing. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, should be still kind of okay, I guess. Times two. Is the immunity scenario permanent or also shield two? Um, I think it's a per what permanent poison immunity? You mean the ooze thing? I think you get shield two for all ooze attacks and then just immunity. I mean these so immunity from poison would work on these guys too, right? Just want to move back a little bit here. I've got to keep sight of him. Oh. Oh, what a draw. What a draw. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm I sad to leave this treasure chest behind, but I I don't think I can ever get it. Would have been really hard to get it. Ooh. That was easy. In the end, it wasn't too bad, huh? No, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. In the end, it was not too bad. Although I think we found the major weakness of our party in this scenario. Major, major weakness. We have no tank. And, uh... We have no decent AoE. Like, we, can, we can't, like, stun a room. We really need a way to stun a room. Wow, these are going to be some of the richest oozes I've ever seen. What about poor Claw Patrol? I mean, they're going to get their two perk. They're going to get their two perk uh, check marks, so can't feel too bad. I probably could have played another round, to be honest, there. Unable to but... sustain itself any longer, the giant mass quivers and then loses its form, spreading its gelatinous goo all over the already slimy floor. The other creatures around you dissolve into the muck as well. You nice. You the ooze from your weapons and your body, thankful that whatever cancerous evil was here has now been destroyed. Some of this poisonous liquid may still seep into the ocean, and it will take a long time for the effects of what is already there to dissipate. But at least it will not get any worse. As you return to your boat, you can already see the flow of the ooze waning. You head back to Gloomhaven and report the news. Nice. Yeah, I mean, a bit of a shame because we really do want to try and get these done. Just wasn't the scenario for it. Like I said, we could have maybe gone for a little bit longer and then we might have been able to do this. I mean, how many did we get? We got three, so that would have been at least at least a couple more rounds, which maybe would have been pushing it. Might have been possible, though. Funny that this is the only one that got the perk. Doomstalker leading the damage. Good, good, good. Happy with that. Although, yeah, the weakness has been revealed. We just have no way of dealing, like, with a, a, just a, a room full of enemies. Like, no way are we to just be able to get people down. That may mean that we have to think about picking up, um... Picking up a different card here. We might end up having to go back and taking Darkened Skies now. I'm starting to think that this is... This would have been really nice to have had at some point. Right, did we get much gold? 20 gold. Guess that gets us the, uh, that gets us what we wanted on the merchant. Oh, we can't because we're using those two, right? Yeah. I guess that's okay. We'll, still, we'll keep saving. We'll keep saving. I just felt like I couldn't play her very aggressively in that scenario. Like, I wanted to find a good flurry, but because I knew I couldn't kill anything, by jumping in and flurrying, I'm basically just signing my own death warrant. So I just... It's no point. But maybe other scenarios will be a bit better. Right, let's do a city encounter chat. And let's get a vote going. Go for option one or option two. Dark and skies, play of axes on the same turn would be quickly quickly wipe out a room. Could be worth it. Yeah, it's very true. We'd have to sync them up. Syncing them up would do a lot of uh, a lot of work. You are walking through the new docks when a well dressed merchant flags you down. Oh my! What a fortuitous encounter! He whispers as you approach. May I buy you a drink? I have a very sensitive job for you, and I'd like to avoid prying eyes around us. The merchant, an iron dealer named Gavin, makes a gesture towards a large group of dock workers. I can't trust anyone. Well, except you, of course. Do we option one, accept the drink? Option two, decline the suspicious offer and continue your business. Hmm.
What do we think? You don't trust him? And maybe not, but also doing a thing versus not doing a thing. Like, this is one of those things where it's like, oh, decline this vicious offer and just, like, walk away. Like, sure, you could do that, but are you just, are you just passing out content? <laughs> Never decline a free drink. You know, you want, you want to, like, if this has got, like, some kind of, like, side quest associated to it, even if it's bad to you. It's gonna win. Uh, well, most of you seem to have gone for option one. All right, good, good call. Accept the drink. Excellent. Someone has been attacking my ships at sea, and I need to get to the bottom of it. Come, I'll tell you the details. Ooh. Wrecked ship. Nice. I mean, to be fair, we could go do that kind of thing. Misty C, each mercenary must loot one ornate chest. It's probably a good time to do side scenarios right now. We're trying to just get gold and we don't want to progress too fast. Let's do it. Uh, do we have any more gold to spend really? No, we've got no gold here. Nice. So that's it. Like, let's go, we can go straight back out. Every ship I send out gets attacked and robbed, Gavin whispers to you from across the table. There must be someone on my crew telling the pirates where to find us. Aha, a traitor. He sighs. I'd like to hire you to stow away on one of my ships, wait for the bandits to board, and then get rid of them once and for all. Simple enough? I can do that. Get our sea legs trap. The task does seem simple, until you're sitting in the hold of a ship, and a cannon blast suddenly tears a hole in the side of the hull, knocking you off your feet. Before you know it, the ship is taking on massive amounts of water, and pirates are swarming the deck. These must be the mystery assailants plaguing Gavin. You grab your weapons and buckets, and do your best to keep the ship afloat, but between the cannon's blasts and the pirate's blades, it was only a matter of time before the ship sank with you on board. Okay. Game over. <laughs> we have water breathing, though. Water fills the hold before you're able to escape. A watery grave rising up to close its grip around you. Freezing cold and soaked through, you find yourselves lying on a rough beach amongst a shipwreck. You see Gavin's company logo on a section of ship jutting out of the sand. It seems you managed to survive the pirate's attack. However, tracks in the thick sand lead toward a forest in front of you, where smoke and laughter rolls out of the trees. Clearly, someone has discovered this shipwreck and made off with any goods that mm. washed up beside you. Standing up and collecting yourselves, you make sure all your equipment is accounted for. Gavin won't pay you for losing his cargo, so you best steal it back from this bandit camp. Oh, I was kind of hoping for like, I don't know, a ship uh, scenario, like a battle at sea. Maybe we could have had a bit of variety in the environment or something. Be the first to kill a monster. We can probably get that to work. Kill three or fewer. That's not going to work. Use your equipped items the number of times equal to or greater than your level plus two. So seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's using the boots and an extra three times. That's pretty hard. Then kill three or fewer is also pretty hard. Like that's kind of our thing. Well, maybe we'll try it and we'll see how we do. Classic bait and switch. Yeah. Oh, we can get XP. Right, so we need to loot one on HS, each mercenary. So we should maybe consider bringing a loot card in this one. Just because, like, if we're in a position where we might just lose, maybe it's better to have a loot card. We might not be able to just loot on them. So Furious Aid. 
But good loot. I guess we could get rid of break the chains for that. I mean, a little heal on the bottom. Might be useful. Um, for you... Do we have a loot on this? I mean, we must have a loot, but... What? Oh, so we already have it somewhere? Oh, it's on um, Moments Peace, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's good. Uh, and then we might need to loot here. That's a loot on the bear, though. We probably don't have a loot on ourselves, do we? No. All right, we'll have to just naturally do it. Because we've only got a loot on the bear. Presumably, the bear of doing this won't work. I would have thought. I mean, it'd be interesting to find out, but... What is it? What does it actually do? Like, what does the rest of the card do? Oh, the rest of the card is garbage. No, all right, we won't do it. We'll just have to run onto it. <laughs> we'll just have to run into it. That card's so bad. There's no way I'm taking that. <laughs> no way. No way. Hey, Baja. What the hell happened here? The whole comp changed again? Yeah, we got a brand new comp. At end of Monday session, we finished it. Got lo retired three characters on Monday. And uh, today's the first session with the new ones. I haven't had a chance to get the uh, Monday session uploaded to YouTube yet. But yeah, this is where we're at now. Oh, this is interesting. Hmm. Quite an interesting, like, style of scenario here. Oh, eight damage. That is a lot of damage. That's a load of damage. I mean, I can essentially kill this on the first turn. Well, very close to the first turn, right? Oh, hell yeah. No, I swapped out the pull. Of course I swapped out the pull. The one card that actually would have been really useful here. Devs, why can't I see an overlay of the first room? Grr. Restart scenario. I'm not going to go that far. Let's try and get this guy dead. This turn. That'll be good. Alright, maybe not. Let's attack four. What are they doing? Attack four, two. Guess it doesn't really matter here too much then, huh? Okay, okay. Go, go, bear. Whoa. You thought the lightning was the blue guy when the increase with the Zerka? <laughs> you like having hook chain on Doom, so I'm gonna deal with traps. You mean on Berserker? Whoa. Yeah, we did. I just swapped it out for the loot card for this particular scenario because we need to do this. So I figured, okay, well, I need to I need to swap out a card somewhere and it's a card that is good, but not always great. And it would have been great here. Oh, I did that the wrong order too. Huh. 
Oh, I can't be bothered to restart the round. <laughs> or can I? Oh, I can be bothered. Yeah, I really wish I'd uh, I bought that card, but you know, maybe maybe this is like the only room, right? That might not be it. Like that might not be as good in the other rooms. But again, another one of those things where if they just had it shown, we wouldn't have to uh, kind of just guess these things. Oh, the double hand item. Hook chain. Yeah, hook chain's not a bad thing. But to be honest, he usually ends up going for piercing bow just to kill that one really annoying enemy. But yeah, I can see that. But I think piercing bow is better in general. But I think it's a bad item. Good. Second time's the charm. To be honest, I have to be a little bit careful because if I do too much damage to this, he'll die and then I won't get the... I won't get the battle goal, actually. And that's a fairly good point. I need to be the first one to kill. And I really need to do perks on this character. It's so important. Hmm. Is that just difficult terrain? I'm actually not going to do it. After all of that, I'm actually not going to do it now because I just remembered this. Oh, he's going to go down to three now, which will be very easy for us to kind of kill. Well, two actually. And then we can use this for the move. Four, two, three, four. We can get ourselves there. Need to make sure that I go before the bear here. Kind of important, otherwise the bear is just going to kill it. That kind of suck. Yeah, I mean, I can just go on nine and maybe just kill it with an attack two, to be honest. Go on an early initiative like that. I think that's fine. And then, to be honest, I want to just do something else, right? We want to... Let's team up on this guy. I think we could probably kill him. Oh. Take some damage off his archer. <laughs> You're kidding me. All right. No. 
I'm not going to cheese here, but that's really annoying. I mean, there's no reason why I would use my advantage there. Okay. All right, I guess we're going to we're going to be we're going to be stuck with the berserker for a very long time, chat. That's going to be happening. I mean, I don't mind it. She's my like second favorite character, but That sucks. How'd you heal up with the Zerka? Does he have life stealer cards? Spicy. No, um, mainly just through a little bit of bounce back, long rests, a little bit of side healing from the Beast Tyrant. Like, you don't really need to heal that much. You really don't need to heal that much. Uh, what are you doing? That'd be a disadvantage attack, right? Oh, we'll go on you. And we heal up. Pashu, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. That's very kind of you. Thank you for using your Amazon Prime sub here. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Adventuring Pie, my friend. So happy to have you here with us. Finally able to see it live. Awesome, dude. Welcome. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. So much loot. Hmm. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, so for like the Berserker, usually I just use like a bit of bounce back here. Kind of keeps you going. Um, usually too hard to do. Also, you got a bit at the bottom of this. Sixty eight, eh? <clears throat> Paying off the mortgage. Slowly but surely, boys. Slowly but surely. Oh. That's a nice draw. If they both died to wound, have you actually killed someone yet? Could still get the goal. Well, it hasn't crossed it off, but I don't know if that works. True. Maybe true. Don't know. That's an interesting way to look at it, actually. Hmm. I mean, I, I've got I've got the opportunity to give it a go, right? So, <laughs> they died of natural causes. <laughs> yeah. Interesting way of looking at it. <laughs> Thought you was caught up, but apparently missed three retirements. Well, unfortunately, I haven't up I haven't uploaded Monday session, Pashu, which to YouTube yet. And that uh, at the end of that session, we retired three characters. That will be up probably, probably Friday now. But that will be on YouTube on Friday, and then this session will probably I'll probably put it up like on Sunday or something. But this session. Let's let's try and get this kill. I'm I'm intrigued now. I like the idea of this. It doesn't say that it's like not been done, right? Wow, we are the first to kill two. How about that? Oh, uh. 
First to kill two. Well, I guess we're going this way, huh? Hey, Barber. How's it going? Good evening. Wound doesn't count towards kill either if it's your goal. Yeah, wound doesn't count like because they died of wound. It's it's weird because the way this is worded, it says be the first to kill, which, you know, you can interpret as it doesn't say, you know, to, I don't know, like you, like you say, you can interpret that to be like, yeah, be the first person to land a killing blow. And if an enemy was to die through other means that wasn't landed by a killing blow by a mercenary, Maybe it doesn't say be the first to kill a monster that dies or something. I don't know. I don't know how you would word it other way, but it feels like there could be another, like another wording, right? Wording versus coding. Yeah, I mean, like you could interpret it in that way, but is it actually that way? Hasn't says I hadn't haven't done it yet, but. To be honest, these never seem to to really do anything until the end. Like, like it, sometimes they do cross off and say you've done them. Other times they they really don't. Right, I think we're just taking a bit of an off turn here, aren't we? I think that's the plan. I actually probably wanted that movement there. actually did want that movement, I think. Because then he can move off of the loot. I can go get the loot with somebody else. Profit. I see this is still bugged. So now you thought the moon was the coolest character, but this Doom guy seems even better. Well, the Doom guy is just... is way cooler, in my opinion. Like, it's just you're playing a super powerful ranger, and... You can just attack everything, but you still have to you still have to attack things, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Ow. Alright, long rest. Probably just long rest on everybody here. I mean, I could walk in, I guess. But... Could be... Well, it's actually a fairly small room. But if it's full of archers, that's a really bad move. Let's long rest. Definitely not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> Definitely not how that's supposed to work. So the, the new rule is supposed to be that the summon can take one space of movement, basically, towards you. So when it's triggers, you could say, yeah, and it, it's allowed to move one hex, but in digital, for some reason, it's just using the move value of the summon. So this will be a move three. And it's basically using the door as its focus. So, of course, because it could technically get to the door, but it can't open the door, it's very weird. Just a little bit, a little bit frustrating, that one. Uh, let's get rid of you. Uh, 
And let's get rid of. It's gonna be a tough scenario. It's gonna be very tight. Maybe burning blood packs so early was a bit of a bad idea. Look at how long this scenario could potentially be. Divs. Pick Shadaran game. Actually, maybe not that. Oh, maybe that. Knock, knock. <laughs> this one wants you to split up. We might have to split up at some point, yeah. Not great for us. Let's get rid of Rain of Arrows. Rain of Arrows is a really nice buff, but I think maybe we can do better. Nice. So I haven't seen a treasure chest yet. There better be one. Is the healing choker teeth one good on berserker yeah it's not bad the thing is with with stuff like that is that you need to manage your health with the berserker so sometimes stuff that gives gives you health is not always in your best interest um because sometimes you actually do want to stay on a lower health yeah not bad though get these two guys door being jammed is a little bit unfortunate for us but we'll try and dispatch this one quickly next turn so now what we'll do is we'll go for an early um press the attack Probably just do something like multi pronged on there, really. Just with the advantage on him. Um. Yeah, something like that. Bear needs a bit of a heal, right? Little bit of a heal. Twenty-three. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. 
Don't like that. I was planning on healing myself this turn, and that's not going to happen now. Well, I guess I could always just get rid of this, but... I think I particularly want to take that now. Oh. At least I have a nice defiance of death now. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, I think I might have played Blood Pact a little bit too early. <laughs> just a little bit. Like, it's just... Possibly a bit too early. Because now we're going to, like, have this training. And I'm just going to have to get rid of it at some point soon. Like, not now. Like, I've got a bit of time. But there will be a point where I'm just going to have to get rid of it. I'm not going to be able to sustain it. And that is going to be awkward when that comes around. The good news is, is we're killing a lot of stuff. <laughs> we're killing a lot of stuff. Get off my loot, bear. I guess we're moving in, aren't we? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I guess we are. Maybe go invisible. A little bit nervous about what happens, though. If there's loads of archers. This is quite a substantial looking room. Could be quite a few things in here. Maybe it's best we long rest here. Do I ever use a major healing potion? But yeah, I do. Yeah, I've already used it. <laughs> That's already gone, unfortunately. Aha! There it is. There's the culprit. Range six on this guy. Are you kidding me? I don't think I can go invisible. I need to... Otherwise, I'll just get hit. Well, it's only attack three, I suppose. But I really need to preserve health on the Berserker right now. Hmm. I could just use my net on him. Seems pretty reasonable. Are you good? Great value net right there. Do you want to get some cards back? Yeah, I think so. I want to just try and kill this quite quick, right? Wow. But also, fresh kill is really tempting here. I might just go for a fresh kill on this. Boop, boop, boop. In we go. Oh. 
We've got a pretty good place to be able to long rest next turn on the uh, the Beast Tyrant, really. I'm just going to kill this, pretty much. Or he's being immobilized, anyway. I think I might just have to get rid of Furious 8, guys. I know this was, like, the card that I bought in for this scenario, but what else am I doing it? What am I using it for? I mean, maybe to keep myself alive? <laughs> That's kind of maybe also pretty good. All right. Maybe that. That is also kind of fine. 29, eh? I was kind of hoping you'd go late there, buddy. Oh, we got it, though. 27. Nice. Good. So now the bear's gonna... This guy's just gonna have a nothing turn. Scoot over here. Maybe this should be the chest that I get with the uh, Zerka then, because we're, we're, we're close to dying. <laughs> so maybe, maybe this is the one. I mean, I probably should have used my goggles there. I don't know why I didn't. I'm just getting, I'm just getting punished a lot. I've just not been, uh, I've not been using those goggles very effectively at all. I should definitely have used them there because there's no way I'm going to need to use them on anything else. Like, that was an important attack to potentially kill them on. And I didn't use them, which is, uh, pretty dumb. Hey, Modo. Been a while since you've been able to watch my streams in case I was ever wondering. Getting a second kid is like a doom spell on your free time. <laughs> yep. I've, uh... Yeah, I'm steering uh, well clear of that one, buddy. But, uh, happy for you and welcome back. Good to have you here. Good to see you. Mm. I mean, this could come in clutch, right? There's a chance that that comes in clutch. Actually going to use the bottom of uh, of Ancient Ward here. What? Didn't realize that was even a bottom card. Your older kid now likes to play Gloomhaven with you, so it gets better. Yeah, you need to get like, you need to find that curve. Once you get over the hump, right? Once you can teach him a game. All good. Oh, good. There you go. That buys you some time. I feel like we're doing okay right now. I, I'm going to have to go loot with this, though. I know I'm going to have to.
Women are quite convincing to having kids. It all sounds fine. <laughs> well, we're of, we're both uh, in the same boat. Like we've, we're both of the same opinion. So, like, it kind of helps that my girlfriend is also a streamer. So therefore, um, she has no like we're both far too busy and have no real interest in it because we really enjoy being able to do this. So, um. That helps a lot. Oh. Although saying that, the pressure is always is always a little bit there. Like all of my all of my friends right now are um are all having kids. Or second kids. In fact, right now, three of my closest friends are all expecting. Like um, I guess it's just that kind of, you know, we're getting to that kind of age where most of, uh, yeah, people, more of my friends my age have all sort of like settled down and, uh, are having kids. Let's get rid of detonation. I don't think detonation would be very good in this scenario. One day we'll want little baby streamers. Mm. I don't think so. Not me at least. I'll keep holding on. I'll hold on. <laughs> Gamor, thank you so much for the uh, follow. Welcome to the quest. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Good to have you here with us. Hope you're having a great day, buddy. You really hope your kids love board games? I think if you just, if you force things on an early age, I'm pretty sure they will. That, that's what I've learned. <laughs> it's one of those things, right? You just, you make it a family thing and, uh, they remember it, grow up with it. That's fine. You can force you can force kids. That's fine. <laughs> you will like this. You will do this sport. It's <laughs> a mandatory quest, really. I don't know. It becomes apparent that these aren't unfortunately. It also becomes apparent there are far more of them than there are of you. You won't survive here much longer. I guess in the last chests in this room, maybe. One other question. Did I ever see slash back the Rome Total War uh war ball game? I did actually see that, yes. I did not back it though. Um Like, no massive reason. I uh, just didn't... Didn't seem, uh... I just, I stopped, I've kind of just... I've, I've laid off Kickstarter a little bit now. Just because I've got so many games at the moment, I'm really not buying any for myself. I usually buy games... I board games for myself once a year now, and that's usually at an expo or something. Like, if I go to an expo, I usually have a, a little list of games that I'm interested in. I'll hopefully get to demo them or try them out, and then I might buy some games then. Or, like, at the bring and buys and stuff, I really like the bring and buy section. Try and find some bargains in there. I really enjoy that. Um... But it's quite rare that I actually buy board games for myself. And, and Kickstarter oh. games, even less so, unless there's something really special about them. Ooh. Seems to have been a bit of a trend recently as well about uh, all of these um, all these board games about video games. You notice that? We have the Dark Souls game. Then you had, like, the Horizon Zero Dawn board game. Then you had, like, the Resident Evil board game. Then you got the Rome Total War board game. You got Bloodborne, the card game. There seems to be, like, a lot of video game, board game tie-ins about. Maybe that's a good sign that board games are kind of cool. Skyrim as well. That's it. Yeah, there's a Skyrim one as well. 
Fallout. That was the Fallout game, right? Civ? Yeah, but Civ, Civ's kind of like the other way around, right? Kind of... Civ's been around for a long time. But yeah, there is like the version of Civ that I have, which is a New Dawn, that is kind of like based... It's, it's using the same artwork and stuff. It is kind of more based around the video game IP, definitely, than it being like its own thing. Um... I really need to start using some of my uh, potions. So I've just been holding off on them because I haven't needed to use them. But actually, I should really start to use them because they're just going to um, elongate my game a little bit more. Do I like New Dawn? A guy in your group got it and we're going to try it next ketchup. I haven't, uh, I haven't played it that much. I played it twice and I actually I've, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. It's different. I think that's the thing. You know, a lot of people might go into it thinking like, oh, I really hope it's like a really, you know, grand Civ game. And it's not. It's quite well streamlined. It hits it hits the high notes of Civ, but it doesn't get itself down into the, you know, the nitty gritty stuff, which I think some people will be disappointed with, but it makes the game a lot more approachable and means that you can actually kind of finish it in a reasonable time in an evening, so... I liked it. I need to play it some more. I've only played it like twice. And uh, the first the first game was a learning game and the second game was much better. sense a bit i mean you play video games and board games interchangeably periods where you do more live board games and periods more video games yeah true oh there's definitely so much crossover between the two but i just think it's quite hard to make i think it's a really good idea to go the other way like sort of like gloomhaven's done right board game into video game i think that works quite well i think going back the other way especially when you're looking at games like you know fallout skyrim i mean those are huge games you know, to try and to try and get a board game to measure up in some way to that game in a, you know, a three-hour window or whatever in the evening when you're trying to play a game with some friends, it's really difficult. So I just feel like some of the games, maybe people back them because they're like, oh, I just love it. And, but actually they have to create a completely different game because they don't, you don't have the time to play that game. You have to play like, a shortened game. I think Horizon Zero Dawn was an interesting one to me because that and Dark Souls 2 in theory could work quite well because a lot of it's just like about fighting like a boss or stuff like that. I think that's quite cool. Like, in theory, that's a lot of it's just about like the fighting mechanic. Just use that. But Skyrim is the one that has got me scratching my head a little bit because it's like that game's so expansive. What do, what do you do? You know, it seems a bit strange to me. Because the, the the Fallout the Fallout game was um, kind of had luke lukewarm reviews, didn't it? It wasn't uh, sort of just. Most people seem to think it was like just kind of okay. Is a berserker a slow leveling character? You started one in Guildmaster and seems to fall in behind the others. Doom, Saw, and Plague. Potentially, mostly because um, Tux is because she... All of her XP is generally tied to, like, 
you have to do this, right? Like, so... You have to, like, take the two damage to do the plus two attack. Take the two damage to get plus two to gain the XP, right? You have to have this to get the extra XP. It's the... If, if you have a scenario where she doesn't get damaged, and it's actually quite an easy scenario, she tends to not earn much XP because she doesn't take much damage, and she doesn't really need to do that stuff. So... She is quite slow leveling in that respect. When you get a little bit higher level, like eventually you get to a point where you get to some better cards and they just give you XP and they're much better. Oh man, I can't even burn a card. Rip bear. But uh, Doom is pretty. Doom is pretty fast leveling. Saw, Saw can be Saw can be slow. To be honest, depending on how you play it. <laughs> no, that's a, that's lot, of a lot of damage. Oh, it's not been a good uh, <laughs> Claw Patrol. Have not had a good time, have they, chat? Today so far, constantly just being abused. Right, we're gonna go down to. We're actually going to go down to below threshold this turn, so I probably don't want to play bounce back. I just want to play like this, maybe, or this, and then we do this and this next turn. So this is a move two. I really need to move off this door, but I'm I'm just I'm just loving being on this door right now. Let's move. Uh, why am I not using my potions? I'm just playing badly. The more you see that emote, the more you need to know why that guy is sawing holes in buckets. If you haven't seen that before, just type in flex tape on uh, flex tape on YouTube. You're welcome. <laughs> be pre be prepared to probably get sucked into a rabbit hole that you were not intending to be sucked into. Oh, speaking of emotes, the new, um, the new Ooh. sub emotes are looking really good. Really good. I'm really Ooh. excited to show you guys next week. They are almost, they were almost ready for today, but I wanted a, a couple of small revisions. So they'll be, um, they'll probably be up on Monday and we've got 10, 10 brand new ones. And uh, we'll have two new e uh, animated ones too. Um, I think I might just do that. So let's heal you. I might just do Defiance of Death again. The kind of stuff that I should have been doing a long time ago. I keep forgetting. Any hints for new emotes? Um, I won't spoil it, but well, I mean, I kind of hinted at it last time. Let's say they all feature somebody and yeah, I've, they'll basically be all redone. So we'll probably keep some of the more popular ones. Like, you know, I I'll, I'll still, I've got enough slots, I think, to keep like Pog Frog and the guard and stuff like that. We've still got opportunities to keep those.
But I do also need to start working on, work on some new actual, like, channel um, point emotes, which I will probably start doing in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, yes, the falcon. It was the falcon all along. I'm actually gonna use this. I think we, I think we might just lose this scenario, guys, because we've, we've got to get one more chest in this room. And I don't know, I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. I've just, I seemingly have just kind of, by playing quite leisurely, I seem to have just kind of lost. Kind of sucks. Uh, do I want to stop an attack at six? Six into here. This will be... This guy's going to attack for six and six. That'll be 12. That'll be 10. So realistically, I should actually attack this, I think. That's weird. Yeah, I think I should attack this and immobilize this so it can't get the target too. But then we're going to take six with a shield one and then an attack of four with a shield one. I guess it is what it is. Just seems weird, but I think it is actually the right sort of move here. How many channel points to pick my next two card pair? Um, that'd be an interesting one to throw in, but I know a lot of you guys have got so many points that that may end up coming back to bite me. <laughs> you guys have got too many points. You could play an entire scenario for me. Pretty much. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> May need to run to the final chest. I don't think we've got enough movement. We've, we've looted one with the Berserker. It's going to have to be the Doomstalker to do that. Oh, Jesus. What are you doing to me? Do I let the bear die here? Actually going to let the bear die. I think, I think it's the play. Like, because it's, it's not going to be useful at all for the rest of the scenario, really, right? These two I can kill myself. So there's, there's really no benefit of it being, being here. All right, let's start moving towards the other room. I've got invisible, so I've got like a big move. I've got like a move three jump. I've got a move four. I've got a move five. It's fine. It's fine. I don't even know what we're worried about. I'm not worried about anything. It's fine. Can I check if that chest is ornate? I think that one is a normal treasure. Huh? Oh, shoot. 
just says treasure chest. Does that mean it's not... So where's the... Did I get baited? Are you telling me that the other chests are in these two rooms? So I could have gone left all this time? Well, I suppose I needed to get this one, but... That's a regular chest? Oh my god. Okay, maybe maybe we are gonna lose. <laughs> maybe we are gonna lose. Mm hmm. I mean, I have no moves. None. Hey, Macau. You just locked on and noticed a lot has changed. New party hype. Yeah, we completely changed the party at the end of uh, Monday session. All right, get dead. A lot of loot there. Ooh. I mean, I have got a moment's peace, so I could just loot that. Oh, man, this is such a good place to do a moment's peace. Do I have any more moves? I feel like I got rid of my move five, didn't I? Jesus, okay. I don't know how I'm going to do this, chat. I don't have a move. I have move two, and that's it on the beast tyrant. I have to just find it and just hope. Why didn't I loot this one with the Beast Tyrant? I honestly thought that it would be like the worst idea. That, uh, that's so bad. All right. Fly, you fool. <laughs> At a very, very slow pace. At a very, very slow pace. Swifty, thank you so much for the resub, dude. Three months in a row. The quest continues, my friend. Thank you so much for all of the support. I really appreciate it, buddy. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Welcome back, buddy. Move three on the bottom of mall. Oh, you say that doesn't make much of a difference. It does. That's an extra one every single time. And I've got this. Hello. You can get it back. <laughs> Suddenly, it's not looking so bad. Suddenly, it's looking great. Got all this crazy movement. Oh, it actually showing where the bear died. bit sad oh this is a good loot though 20 gold lovely use the swap card oh that's a great idea do we still have it oh my god we do Right, we run in, we exhaust with Bolt. We swap just before we exhaust, I guess, or something. We swap ourselves with an enemy. It's doable. It's doable. I like it. Do I have an invisible cape somewhere? I do. <laughs> a little bit spicy. Little bit spicy. Just a little bit spicy. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do this. This is fine. I can't believe that's not a, an ornate chest. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, boy. A little bit spicy. It's there. All right. And there's one in this one.
Yeah, take that. Is the API working now? It is. Everything is working. All of the channel points are back working. I just signed on on Tuesday and it was it was miraculously working again. It was just a weird Twitch bug. Oh. Or maybe they were like fixing something and just decided they weren't going to tell anybody. Probably more like that. Like, I could easily just run in and get the chest with this guy. That's what sucks. Dang it. Maybe I should just let the Berserker come and loot this. I mean, to be honest, it's not nothing to do with him anymore. You know, she. She's sorry. She's off. She's done. She, Roy Jenkins, can just uh, live out her, her life now, happily. At least with no bear, we know we got, we've got plenty of cards we can just burn. Hey, Valange. No YouTube video upload from Monday. I just haven't got around to it, I'm afraid. I got uh, caught up with something yesterday. It will be up probably probably Friday now. She Roy Jenkins. Yes, that was what chat decided to uh, to call our berserker. Where do I swap in, do you think? With the Berserker? Yeah, I think so. Maybe I'll use the Berserker instead to get this done then. I can't believe I've actually not had to use this yet. Oop. See ya. Ooh, scammed. Oh, are you kidding me? It, it used the extra... Where was I there? One, two, three. Oh, no, it didn't. I was going to say, is it going to use my extra points there? Out. Out. Yoink. Surprise! Nice. <laughs> thought I was gone. You thought I was gone. Yeah, I was gonna do this, but I think the Doom's just gonna run on this now, right? Then we're good. The next turn I go early, get this, and we win. Presumably as long as I don't die. But it should be okay.
don't think any of this really matters right now. Ooh. That's not good. It's fine. Wait, where did he come from? Hello? What? What? Oh, what? He's got full health. What? Where did... What? Oh, I swapped in there. <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> Oh, you can tell how often I use that card. I don't even know. I was like, what? <laughs> I like never, I, I hardly ever do that. Oh man. I'm really losing the plot today, chat. I'm like, what mysterious bandits just appeared? Oh God. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Oh dear. Do I have movement? I don't. I just need to move five? Yeah, let's just do this and this. Run away. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh boy. Ping. Run away. Aha. We got the chest. Not too shabby. Oh, we needed one more XP. So close. Oh, I've actually got invis, so I could have done that quite comfortably, actually, at the end. Yeah, one XP away. Could have maybe played a little bit longer if I wanted to try and get that chest. I'm going to jump over this. Yeah, there's a chance I could have got that chest. Needed, just need a little bit of luck from these. Yeah, I could have got away with the Invis Cape for sure. And I could still I I don't I don't think I can restart round now. Very hard to do it like not on your turn. Yeah. Confident you've gathered as It's okay. It's not too much of a bother. You decide it would be best to run for your lives. Run. All right, nice. Be the first to kill a monster. It so it worked confirmed then so it doesn't matter if an, a monster dies through some other effect that isn't like an, an attack or i guess causes by it maybe like pushing into a trap would still would have counted actually worked out really nicely for these two i'm happy with that perks are perks are big I made it sound really hard, but I breezed through. Wow, almost. Yeah, I mean, I probably had a few extra turns at the end there. The thing is, that it depends on where the chests were, right? If the, the other chest was right at the back. Luckily, it turns out you hadn't. As soon as you guys said, "Oh, you've got the swap card," I was like, oh, "Of course!" Like now, it should be really easy, actually. Find you. You still don't know who was informing the pirates, and weren't able to wipe them out. But the losses this robbery caused them will make anyone who hears about it think twice about attacking a merchant ship again. Nice. With that, 
and the fact the city guards you found are now preparing to raid the camp you ran from, these bandits shouldn't be back. We got them. Once you return to Gloomhaven, Gavin laments the loss of one of his ships, but is confident he'll now be able to continue his business across the sea. He pays you well for risking your lives in the defense of his goods. Well, 10 gold. I don't know about that. Plus two prosperity. That's a lot. Ooh. Okay. Okay. There's some big items here. Pendant of Dark Packs. That's huge item for the... That's huge item for our uh, Beast Tyrant. Sun Earring. Great item on our... Um, well, potentially on either of our Doomstalker or our Berserker. Reaping Scythe, not so much of a fan of. Uh, Spike Shield is, is a great shield for a tanking character, and Split Mail is great for tanking characters too. Major Mana Potion is... The thing with Major Mana Potion is often you don't really care about both elements. I always find that you just want to make one, so like you just want to have two Mana Potions, and you can't have two Miners, so you end up getting the Major. But yeah, that's nice. Boost of Quickness as well. That's something that the Beast Tyrant would usually wear, but I, I don't know whether or not I'm going to go that route this time. Unless you're the Elementalist. Yeah, true. Yeah, I just find that usually it's like I want to make one and then maybe you make one for another character if they want it, but a lot of the time they're like, eh, it's fine. All right. We nearly leveled up on Orlando Doom as well. We're pretty we're getting, we're getting close. Just one more scenario should do it. So look, as you can see, like XP wise, we've already kind of drifted. Now, considering that these all started at the same time at level five, you can kind of see the XP drift. It's a bit surprising that we haven't earned more XP here, but that's because we haven't been doing a lot of commands. And we haven't been we haven't really been maximizing that. Uh Nice. All right. Well, 40 gold will go a long way. Let's go to the merchant first. So now we could go for Splint Mail. I mean, it would really pay to get the, the Sword Edge, really, right? But we need another five gold. Do we have anything we can sell? No, we didn't pick anything up, have we yet? I just feel like we need some armor or something. Like our character is feeling a little bit vulnerable right now, I would say. We need something. Robes of Evocation could be quite nice for the, the all-in plays. But not for 40 uh for 35 gold. It's quite expensive. I'll have a little more. I'll have more of a think here on her. I'm not quite sure exactly what we want to do there yet. Uh, head item. We need. Uh, now's a good time to just pick up the Hawk Helm. Just because occasionally we want to attack something at like range five or something rather than range four. Like sometimes you want to doom and attack that turn and you don't quite have enough range. So this this does that. They all leveled up. Oh, what? Because I got to Gloomhaven Wealth 6? Oh, you're right, actually. That of. Oh, you're right. Yeah, oh, that's a weird visual bug. Of course. Because of the Gloomhaven Wealth level went up, we, we can level straight up to 6. That's. That's a weird kind of. I mean, I guess. How's that going to work then? Does that mean I'm just going to lose all that XP? I, a bit strange. I guess, it, I guess so. I mean, it's not a bad thing, of course, but weird. Hawk Helm and Dark Skies attack. I think we might might have to uh, go back and pick that now, yeah. We'll take a look at what we get. So we've got Hawk Helm, Cloak, Weighted Nets, 
I think we probably want a stun powder. Nice cheap item. Very useful. And then you'd be potentially looking at some kind of earring. Moon earring maybe. Moon earring is probably better than like is a bit more useful I think. Just because of the fact we don't necessarily need to always heal three with this character. Whereas this will be much more useful on Shiroi Jenkins for sure. But maybe I'll just buy this as the next item for her. Get you your boots back. Get your goggles back. Heal for three. What's not like, what's not to like? But the only thing is that we're going to be going for... In terms of like other things we're going to be going for with the character. We're going for Piercing Bow, Hawk Helm, Power Potion. So not as good to refresh. Let's get Moon Earring. I like this. I think this is nice. Then we can just start to maybe... Um, Maybe look to save some money for some enhancements soon. Uh, 25 gold is probably not going to be enough to get the, uh, the what we really want, which is the Pendant Dark Packs. That's going to be quite expensive. Oh, it's a head slot item. Always forget that. Yeah, 70 gold. I mean, it's worth every penny, but yeah, okay. Maybe we just save here. I think we're doing okay on this character for now. I think we're, I think we're doing fine. I can sell this for 20... 24? 22? Alright, let's do leveling up, should we? Alright, level 6. We got Devil Horns and we got Unstoppable Destruction. Is the pendant really such an upgrade over the talisman that it justifies the cost and drawback? I mean, it is when we get maybe... Well, maybe not right now, Zulan. I mean, that's a fair comment right now. Because we don't have, like, a star earring or something like that. But I think if you have, like, a major and a star earring, like, getting both of those back is pretty... Is worth it. But, yeah, it's a fair point. Because really, we'll only be getting back... The major and a minor. So really the only benefit here is that we're getting one more minor. Which is not a huge improvement. So yeah, it's fair. Uh, Devil Horns versus Unstoppable Destruction. Uh, I don't really like Unstoppable Destruction. I've tried this a lot of times. Especially with the bottom here, which is if you short rest during your turn, gain all the benefits of a long rest uh, during your next turn. It's It's weird. And I don't mind it because it kind of allows you to play really aggressively. But, like, often, I don't know, it's just it's just weird. Like, I, it's, it's just weird. Really hard, like, ability to evaluate. Because it means, oh, yeah, you don't have to long rest. Sure, but most of the time you can find a way to long rest. Like, long resting is not always a really negative thing. Like, sometimes you want to long rest because you want your whole team to sync up and you... You want that to happen so you will take a turn off to then start together and there's also like you just probably long rest at a time that's suitable to long rest it's a bit strange it's a really unique effect really really unique but i just it's really hard to evaluate as being like very good i think it's occasionally it'll be very nice because it will get you back like an item and the card that you want and then you can just go off with it so there will be times when it's really good, but I just feel like most of the time it's not. <clears throat> You'd love if this game had a roguelike mode. Yeah, like random loot. I, I think it, it would be it would be interesting. Like my idea for that kind of thing would be that you have um kind of like similar to like Slay the Spire, but what you would do is you would have rooms or dungeons that are very like a dungeon that would be set out so you'd have to go kind of like guild master mode right except there would always be a set path you have to go down so you always have to go into the next dungeon like there's only one dungeon to go to and you have to go to it and you kind of keep on going along and at the end of each dungeon you gain uh an item which is like random so you can have like a random items and you can create pools of items uh have them in chests 
So have like chests having like different levels of chests, like a level one chest, level two chest, level three chest or whatever. And put items from the loot chart like in there into the different ones, right? And you start with the dungeon and like the first route, the first dungeon would be quite small and simple. I think you would want to make it quite quick. So you'd have maybe just like a one or a two. You'd have like a two room scenario maybe with a handful of enemies. You can get through it quite quick. Um, but also you have... Um, at the end of the scenario, like you just automatically level up or something. Like you automatically always level up after each room or maybe after every other at a certain point. So then like you get to choose and you keep on going and keep on going and keep on going. And you only get items by gaining them. There's no like go back to town to go to a shop. You could maybe introduce like a shop element or like a, a break point or something. But I think it would be a pretty cool idea. And, uh, and ultimately it would be possible within like the framework of what the game has. Guildmaster comes to that. Yeah, but you want like a replayable one. So you want one that's like you get a high score or something. So then you'd want to play it again and again and again. And you want to play it with each of the different characters. And maybe you could even play it solo, like with one character. Like that would be interesting, right? To be able to kind of play each character solo and maybe be able to finish a run in like a couple of hours worth of play rather than like, you know, Sometimes it can take a couple of hours to play one scenario, so. Yeah, so anyway, Unstoppable Destruction. The bottom I don't really like very much. The top, again, I, I just... It's kind of interesting suffering two damage to ignore the target shield value and gain one. It's Maybe you could make an argument that this difficulty it's a bit better than it would be at normal. Like if you're playing on normal difficulty, it's not really worth it for the majority of enemies. But like, for example, we're playing that Ooze mission. It was probably worth it because it's basically like suffering two damage to, you know, you're only going to do this on an enemy that's got two or more shields. So it's basically suffer two damage to plus that amount. So it is actually like quite nice in that respect so I, I don't mind it but the thing is is the devil horns is just incredibly strong like then this is one one of my bugbears with this character is that when you start to get from level six onwards so, so from now onwards basically we're just getting like powerful cards that are just good attacks that don't have anything to do with health loss or anything to do with that kind of stuff like devil horns is just oh i'm going to attack three and wound three things if you have a really good deck you can get advantage very easily that's amazing also you just got attack four on the bottom so you just can potentially do a top and a bottom attack on a, on an enemy really really strong it's just a bit of a, a shame in my opinion like i like the idea of this but when you start throwing it up against cards like this that have no drawback and are just value it's really hard to to like recommend a card like this so <clears throat> at level nine unkillable what with the um the thing that allows you to not take any damage add wounds to the bottom of the devil horns no. <laughs> complete overkill um we need to find a way to bring back break the chains in don't we really so now like everything's getting a little bit mm, I mean, I could potentially get rid of Cauterize, but Cauterize just works really well with the first turn. But then maybe I can, instead of using Cauterize, I could use Break the Chains. Because Devil Horns is going to make my fire now and do all my wounding. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. There's a slightly better attack too. Yeah, we'll do that. This seems a little bit nicer. Perks. Replace one plus zero with a um, rolling plus two. That seems pretty good. Oh, well, this is also very good. Let's go for that first. I feel like I just need a little bit more control. Like, we, we've been a bit close to losing a few times here. Can I do a tier list of characters? I think the community wants it. <laughs> I mean, I could do. Sure. I've always said I've always been like I don't really like to do them but because like Rage did one and it was very good and I thought like I didn't have a lot to add to the conversation which is why I ended up doing tier lists of other things because I was like oh no one's done an items tier list let's do that but yeah I mean I, I, I could do it if people want to see it I'll, I'll do it 
it's a it's quite a good one to do live as well like i can do a live stream of it and then it, it, they those kind of streams are quite nice because then we can have like a proper discussion as to why like characters are good and not so good There's a tier list out there, but we'll definitely appreciate my take. Okay, well, maybe we can we can schedule that for like a Wednesday stream or something. We'll do it on a Wednesday. Because then, like, we don't lose a deadly stream. And uh, we can maybe do it on a Wednesday. Um, okay. Primal Blessing. Blood Hunger. Punch Through. See, Primal Blessing is quite nice here, but it's... I mean, it is a move four, technically. But Blood Hunger is just so good at just, you know, trying to kill something, heal something. Hmm... The thing with Primal Blessing is it just doesn't do loads of stuff. But heal two across three things is pretty much like the best heal really you're going to find. At range four too. We can easily get the bear. We can easily heal Berserker. It's not a bad one to play at the end of the room. It buys us two rounds of blood pack. The, the bomb is a, is a fairly usable move. It's not amazing, but it's fairly usable. The swap positions with your bear thing is a bit... Bit rubbish. <clears throat> or do a tier list for team comps. The thing with team comps is that's like really difficult to do, right? Because I mean, do I do every single variation that could be possible? Would be there all night, like just dropping one character and adding another one. I don't know. I feel like t I feel like pairings are quite difficult. I've got like my table on uh, the tool spreadsheet about two player well i feel like when you play three and four like pretty much every party can work and like you throw a bunch of characters together like they're going to be very similar like if you pair uh cthulhu with music note you can really just throw pretty much any other characters in there and it's still going to be strong like you i think like the, the strongest pairing is probably chucking sun in as well and then you've got like some reliable person to just take hits at the front while you're kind of doing your thing that works out really well makes it stronger but like if you were to say oh, i'm gonna do the same one but i'm gonna play the brute like i don't know maybe something like a build tier list if you want something a bit different yeah maybe i feel like the character tier list is like much more like grabbing right But my Beast Tyrant must always catch up with the team if I want to use Primal Blessing. Do you play him like this? I do. I play an active Beast Tyrant. Um, Mugflushta. Mugflushta. I hope I said that right. But yeah, I play like an active one. Um, when I play like this level of difficulty or, or like this kind of party really. Like in this, the role of this character in this party is to be a support control character and add a little bit of damage here and there as we can. Like we're not, um, we're not, focusing on the bear the bear is very much just a complementary character on the board to do a bit of tanking and do a little bit of damage for us like we're not banking on the bear to do much for us really it is right nice <laughs> well i'm glad i got that one right i'm so bad with names i try really hard but i'm just not very good at it sometimes I think maybe like a straight tier list is probably the best thing. I think I'm going to go for this card as well. But I just feel like it's, it's actually got really good synergy here. And it allowed me to drop the move five. That's just not really doing anything. So for a better initiative. And like potentially that could just heal some damage here. And on the bear. And it's not bad. So. Um... Uh... I mean, we're going to have a lot of wound on this party. Let's get the let's get the let's get the rolling heels going, shall we? It's always good. This is going to take so long. <laughs> it's going to take forever. 
Right, city encounter. Then we'll we'll try and think of some items for she Roy Jenkins. Right, vote. Chat on what you would like. Whoa, what happened there? I accidentally closed what? I accidentally closed the tab. Level up Orlando to Oh you're right, I didn't level up Orlando. Ah, he's fine. We don't need to level him up. He's all good. He's all good. He's perfect the way he is. <laughs> oh, I don't that does not mean to be two minutes. That should only be a minute. <clears throat> hey, Cormac. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. This is going well. We got our brand new... Uh, this is like the first outing of our new three characters that we retired at the end of Monday session. It's been going really well. Camoufl oh, camouflage is next? Oh, then definitely, yeah. That's great. Camouflage, OP. How are you guys doing with the... Are you just doing one RP session a week? Or are you doing more than that? Right, relaxing for the evening at the sleeping lion, a shifting, shifty looking man approaches you, hand outstretched. In it are a pair of pale dice with crude marks scratched on them. Greetings, friends. You look like you could stand to liven things up a bit. Care for a quick game of bone dice with me? I'm sure we could make it interesting. His other hand pats a coin purse at his side. Do we play a game with the man? It may prove to be a good time. Or do we refuse the game of dice? Yes, every Monday night. And we are busy, everyone, with other projects. I see. Warhammer 3 on your end and broken ranks and expeditions roam. So not lots of time left. Oh, yeah, we can definitely do that, Skylord. That's fine. We can do... Um, I can do that. I have the technology. Not that I can ever, ever, uh, have to type it out. Boom. Um. Yeah, that's, a. Uh, like, that's going to be really t tough for you guys. Because, like, I mean, it depends on, I don't know. I mean, what, do you guys have any goals, like, on how much you want to do? Because, like, it's, a, it's obviously quite a long game. So, like, one session a week is obviously, like, in, a, in board game terms, like, I think I played the game, like, one session a week, the, the tabletop game, and we'd be, like, probably finished in three quarters of a year <laughs> to a year, you know, if you play, like, once a week. But it's a bit different if you're playing, like, digital, because you can get through it a little bit quicker, like, you know, the game speeds up a little bit, so you can kind of play an extra dungeon a night or something, maybe. But it, it does, it is, you know, there's quite a lot there, so... Uh, refuse the game of dice. Well done, everybody. That is a cheap trickster. We don't want to uh, be swindled. You laugh and wave away the man's offer. You get all of the excitement you need fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe against vicious monsters. In combat, what matters most is planning and tactics, which are far more interesting than some random roll of the dice. Anybody get it? We did four missions in one night on physical. It took us ages. Always to switch the maps, the cards, the monsters. Yeah, that's yeah, very true. <clears throat> yeah, dice. Who hates dice, right? He's talking about D and D, rolling D twenties. Kinda. It's yeah. It's 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 basically a bit of a a tongue in cheek meta joke, right? About games that use dice. Because this game does not use dice. So it's like in combat, what matters most is playing in Texas. It's just far more interesting than some random roll of a dice, right? Isaac throwing shade in the events. <laughs> I 
The Gloom Maven Helper app is great for tabletop, monster management, and damage tracking. Speed things up. It is. It is very good, actually. I'm surprised they didn't make it like an official app, to be honest. I'm surprised they didn't like buy it or something. Make like an official Gloomhaven app for it. It'd be really cool. We we only use the uh we only use the campaign tracker part of that. I think that was lumped into the same thing. We only use that. And I actually used uh D20s, funnily enough. Uh um well not D20, spin downs, technically. Magic the Gathering spin downs for monster health. That worked that worked out quite well, although a little bit chaotic on the table. It worked quite well. Uh Right, okay, so do we have time for another one tonight? Uh, I think we probably do. Let's have a look what we could do. I really do not want to go to Chain Dial today. I couldn't think of anything worse. Um, Should we go to a boss? We've got like one, we could do one boss maybe. We could do one boss. Let's do Shadow World. Let's do it. It's been a while. This is a really hard scenario for the bear as well. So we're going to struggle a little bit here. Um, let's make sure we do our... Um, we don't do our level ups though, right? Before I forget. Ah, the toad. The toad. It's got to be Pog Rock, right? There's no other way. It's got to be gotta be you 3d printed special life counter bases and some extra stuff for quality of life uh bus but still always took ages to put up a new map yeah there's some things that can help you speed up like the general like yeah in scenario stuff right but ultimately you still have to get all of the tiles out and set them up put all the standees down there's only so much time that can be saved with a, with a physical game Um, so, Giant Toad. My, probably one of my favorite summons. Unfortunately, not particularly playable, though, um, in a regular game. But it's like, I love it. I love it so much. I wish it was good, but it's not. And I tried so hard to make it good. It's quite funny when you do, like, an all-summons-style party with, like, this, like, circles and with Beast Tyrant. It can be quite funny because you can just keep gifting it extra like attacks so it just keeps stunning stuff all the time but that one movement makes it really rough so you do, you do need some way to maneuver it around go back for darkened skies i don't think we can right now because camouflage is ridiculously good like it is so good there's no way that i'm passing up camouflage the card has invisible written on both halves of the card Hey, kids, so we heard you like invisible. I, th I still feel like Darkened Skies has a has a spot for us. It really does. I still feel like we have a spot for that card. And it may have been Wild Command. It may have been at the time when we had this. Because, like, this is a really cool thing. It really is very good. But ultimately, maybe it would have been bad to just have something like this in there instead. I don't know. Hard to say. I mean, I, ha I have to take Camouflage because it's so strong, but we might still have an opportunity to go back. Um... Let's keep rolling. Wish you could respec. Yeah, I mean, obviously in Guildmaster you can. I, in theory, I could respect right now, right? I could just create another Doom Stalker right now and I would come in at level six. So in theory, I can kind of like cheese the game respect. Not really in the spirit, but I could. Um, Right, before we do that, let's also just have a look at items. Like what kind of item can we get here that's going to be useful? And, and useful for a while as well. This is probably quite a good one to start looking at getting piercing bow. 
It's probably a pretty good one for Piercing Bow because there's a lot of imps. There's a lot of wind demons. We're probably going to have a good opportunity here. Let's go for it. And then for our... Uh, we'll get something small here. Ah, uh, it's only five gold, right? That seems good. And we're gonna save we're gonna save up for something here, I think. There's definitely some really nice boots that we could buy. I wanna save up some money. I wanna see how we do on this scenario too. This is gonna be interesting because if we can doom and wound it and maybe hide, maybe we'll be okay, but there's some really, really nasty enemies in this one. Really, really nasty enemies. Thank you. Do I ever do community plays? And so, who do I have to kill to be part of that? <laughs> every Sunday. We do it every Sunday. Every Sunday at... Are we, the stream starts at 4 p.m. UTC, my time. Every Sunday is Community Save Sunday, where we play multiplayer. We've been doing it for, like... We've been doing it for ages. Well, the campaign has been going on not as long, but we, we were playing multiplayer before that. <clears throat> Don't think you've ever taken Wild Command. It's it's good. I do like it. Just because of the fact that you get you get like a free attack at un unlimited range. It's really hard to like pass up the fact that you get a free attack. A move three, a free attack at unlimited range, as long as your target's doomed, right? Which is not hard to do. Uh, Ala Cabeza, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the quest. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Good to have you here. Uh, let's do a poll on this one. I'll remember to drop the timer down to a minute, though, chat, for this one. But I keep forgetting. Because I keep forgetting... Right, let's get this poll going. Poll, 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 poll. Option one or option two? We were on two minute polls for all of the name stuff we did on Monday. So am I mainly focusing on Gloomhaven? Yeah, I mean, Gloomhaven is the... Gloomhaven is the game that got me into streaming. That's how I started streaming. And I sort of never stopped. I've taken, like, you know, breaks where I've played other games. And absolutely, I have played other games on stream and will will play again. Um, but, you know, Gloomhaven is my favorite game. Always has been. And I just really enjoy playing it. And, you know, talking to people about it and making guides. And, yeah. So, I mean, until until such a time that the content completely runs out for whatever reason <laughs> then and yeah but we this year i think you know we've gonna have dlc for this game we've got uh frost haven coming out which is gonna be a big deal so you know i'm i'm not like struggling for stuff to do so what do we know about the devs and the future digital just that they are working on uh dlc right now and that will be coming out. I don't know when, but it'll be coming out. Probably, you know, probably sometime this year, I would think. And so you'll have some DLC. They are continuing to, like, patch and work on the game. So they're, they're sort of still working on evolving it. I have, a, I have a feeling, I don't know definitively, but I have a bit of a feeling that they were pushed a bit to launch the game last year. And I think that maybe if they were given... A little bit more time things might have been a little bit different in that respect like i think that if it was solely the devs decision i think a lot of them would have suggested hey let's like leave it but they really wanted to have it out before christmas um so that was kind of like what ended up what happening because when it came out it was pretty you know it was in a really good state the game was not in a bad state by any means but it's just one of those things where it wasn't like you know there's still bugs there that need to be fixed and there still is now and that's Obviously, and when they're bugs that are like 
to do with a game that already has like a rule set so you already have like players who have played the game in tabletop who are aware of the rules they're aware of how something should function so therefore like your bug reporting is so much higher than a regular game right because like a regular game they're like people might not be like oh maybe that's that card's meant to do that right maybe that's how that ability is supposed to work but if you've played that in tabletop and you've gone to the rules faq which is like written somewhere to figure it out you know that's not how that's supposed to work so therefore you're like oh it's a bug right and so it gets listed so in a way it's it's bad for them it's good and bad for different reasons but it's bad for them in the sense that they can't get away with it <laughs> you know because it's like oh there's a bug there and someone's gonna mention it <laughs> because board gamers are anal <laughs> about this kind of stuff if it's not right they'll tell you so they they kind of like made a rod for their own back in that sense but it's also good because then they have a reference right they know hey this is how we should make it they don't have to try and figure that out they know just to do it but so so i i mean i don't know definitively from their perspective but like my personal opinion is that they should have waited a little bit longer because it was a bit bumpy for a few weeks there uh it's in a good state now but you know you still see a lot of people have you know multiplayer issues here and there or you know, like some of the cards are just not quite working quite right, whatever. And that's a bit of a shame. And yeah. But they're, but the, th the good thing is they're working on the game. Like they're not like this. They're not going like we've shipped it. It's done. They are still working on the game. It's just that maybe it could have been an, an early access for a little bit longer. <clears throat> hey, welcome to the quest. Rick and me, I really appreciate it. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Ichthod, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you for using your uh, Bezos bucks here. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the Adventuring Party, my friend. Glad to have you here with us. I've been talking so long, I didn't even see what the results of the poll were. Option one. Ooh, that's not good. You wander around for a while before a massive demon suddenly appears before you, ripped from another plane. Your presence surprises it, though, and you dispatch it before too much trouble is caused. Oof. Have you seen that new Steam game, Expedition Rome? Yeah, I think um, Cormac's playing through it. That's that's where I saw the game first, to be honest. Hey! Thanks for the kind words and advertising our RP sessions of Gloomhaven. Hey, no problem, buddy. Thank you so much for the dono. That's very kind of you for the bits. I really, really appreciate it. It's very, very kind of you. Treasure for the quest, my friend. I really appreciate it. It's very kind. It was a great... It's a great idea, and, uh, you know, I wish I could join you guys, but, you know, I'm over here in England, and our clocks are slightly different. It makes things a little bit hard for me. This is going to make this scenario tricky. It's gonna be, it's, it was already going to be hard. Now, now it's going to be even harder. Redthorn leads you deep into the Dagger Forest. The brush grows thick, and twisting passages through the wild foliage leave you entirely confused. All the brambles and thickets and thorns start to look depressingly the same. Often the way seems completely blocked, but somehow the orchid finds a way through. <laughs> Ways from Austria, we're not far apart. We're not like, well, I mean, since certain rules have come into play here, it feels a lot further away than it used to. I'll say that much. Eventually. A fine grey mist begins to permeate your surroundings, and you come across a dismal, dead clearing. This was once the heart of the forest, Redthorn whispers. Unreachable by any normal means. Safe and perfect. And then it came. Now this place houses nothing but horrors and nightmares. The orchid looks down at the black earth. Truly, this place terrifies me. Whatever creatures haunt these shadows, I cannot help you fight them. But if you survive, I will show you the way back. As Redthorn disappears into the mist, you begin to see other forms. I like the way that he like disappears and doesn't play any further part in and this. Then you hear the hoofbeats, <laughs> like a terrible thunder rolling through the trees. The sound gets closer and closer until the ground beneath your feet tremors at the approach. Ooh, kill the Dark Rider. Loot no gold piles. That's very simple. We'll definitely do that. That's worth that two perks. Easy in this kind of scenario. Reveal a room tile. That might be slightly tricky on this one. 
Um, being one room and all. Uh, your health at the end of the scenario is equal to two or less. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Only one hour time difference? Yeah, one hour time difference. But, like, we've, uh, like, you know, I I work, like, away from my house. So I have to, like, for me, traveling backwards and forwards, like, takes time. And then I have to get home and I have to, like, eat and stuff. So I, I used to stream later. I started streaming a bit earlier just so that I could get, like, an, an extra hour, a, extra, a couple of hours in a week streaming. And now it's like I have to get home and, like, speed eat and, and get ready. <clears throat> Which is now in digital would show the Dark Riders spawn points. So, yeah, I mean, I'll point them out because I've, like, played the scenarios so much now that I just know them off by heart. Um, never use no items. Nope. Okay. Please check cards. Uh, I mean, I think the cards were pretty good. Like, in terms of what we're taking for this. Um. I mean, there's no huge massive difference here. As to what you want to bring over something else. Uh, the only thing I would say is that maybe having a few more ranged attacks would be a good idea here. That's, you know, fair. I don't think we'll probably be using unbridled power, but that is an attack four. Even though we the stun is kind of irrelevant here. The plus, you know, it's an attack four still. Not bad. Um, obviously, obviously what we could do is we could go all in with the glass hammer, resolute stand. Like we could just try and kill him ridiculously quickly. That's the other thing we could do. Get rid of blood pact because it's just too slow. You know, we're not going to maybe gain the value and it's a, a turn that we don't want to take. And instead go for like glass hammer and just wait for the perfect opportunity. Go in, glass hammer him, and then on the next turn, resolute stand him. And then we basically just exhaust. But by that point, we probably should have killed her. Like we've done, the, da the damage has been done, right? So we could, we could go for that way. This is like the only time I would bring this card in is on a boss mission, really. And a boss mission like this too, which is one where it's basically one room and you start in it. So you don't really have to... You know, do anything more to it. <clears throat> See you, Skylord. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Did I put the latest Doomstalker card into my deck? I don't think I did. Um, This is actually pretty strong against him. Uh, eh, this is fine, I guess. Fine. I guess detonation is not very good here. So we'll get rid of that. Because we don't really care about killing the other things. We, if we, we will have to kill them. To be clear, like you, I don't feel like you can just ignore them. Because they do so much damage to you. And they're so annoying. But. I feel like we're. The, the job here is just to constantly. Focus this guy. And I'll tell you what. Camouflage is going to make this scenario so much easier now. In fact, I'm kind of thinking, like, maybe I should bring another late initiative. Do I have something that's really late that's useful? Mm, not really. Mm. Eh. Because if I can just, like, if I can just have a couple of, like, late turns together, maybe I'll just have to keep a moment's peace for that. We'll, we'll try it with that. Uh, everything else, I think, is pretty... Pretty good here. Don't really need to worry about anything else. Yeah. I think we're good. Alright. Should be nice. We could we could kill this thing super fast. But we have to be like in the right position to do so. You're impressed how I can keep up with three people playing all the cards and planning it ahead. Well, a lot of the time... I mean, I think a lot of it comes with... Um, a lot of it just comes with... with you know, practice, really. Like, playing with a lot of characters. Like, once... Like, in my brain, like, most of the characters kind of have a... Kind of, like, have, like, a, an ideal way to play, in a sense. Like, most of them have, like, a combo of some sort. Like, I play this card with this card, this card with this card, this card with this card. And once you kind of get into that rhythm, then it's just about, like, adjusting initiatives and different things with the characters. But... I think once you get very familiar with the characters and with the cards, it's not too bad. Like, I can play with four as well. I just don't find four to really add anything to the game. I find that four just makes scenarios longer. And for no particular reason. I don't think it makes them more fun to play. It's just different. Although, co-op. 
four with co-op is the best because you then you want more stuff to do because there's four of you and you're each just doing one character and you kind of want the full experience but i think if you're playing solo i think three just works really nicely right um did i spin this round by accident no I think I did, didn't I? I did spin it around. Yeah, I spun it around. Yeah, I spun it around. Okay, so... Uh, first spawn is here. I can't click, but it's here. Second spawn's here. Third spawn is, I think, like... I think it's, like, here? It's down here. In one of these hexes. One of, either here or maybe here. And last spawn is here. So the way that this boss works is that he will basically appear on his turn. Then he will do his attack. If he manages to perform a melee attack against a character, then he will then basically teleport away again. So he's very elusive. And what you need to try and do is you need to try and keep him on the board unable to melee attack somebody for long enough that you can kind of get your damage going and there's you know multiple ways you can do this invisibility works great uh because then they obviously can't see anything but also um any kind of like um like movement and uh, why is it gone all funny i don't know yeah, my game's just frozen hello What? I wasn't even doing anything. I haven't had a crash like this in, well, forever. How weird. Is it, it's, it's probably crashed. I could... How weird. <laughs> Summon the devs. Summon them. Stop breaking it. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Ah. Right. Restart. <laughs> oh, now it has properly crashed. Unity's properly crashed now. I got like the Unity crash screen. Yeah, it's probably dead now. It's dead dead. It's, de it's dead dead. Well, that's the first time that's crashed in a long time. <laughs> a long time. Anyway, what I was saying was that basically the movement in this one is really important. Like, if you know the spawn points, you can kind of get away on the first turn. And if you can do that, get him to stay there, then you can kind of do it. There's also a couple of abilities that he plays that don't actually melee attack. So you can get lucky with the draw sometimes. Get a nice draw out of it. Can't even break it properly. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I had to discard? Oh, of course, yeah, because of the uh, the effect. I wonder if it'll be properly broken now. It'll be like, bro broken, broken. We'll, we'll try and get back to the scenario and it'll be like, nope. Uh, nope. I don't think so. You love Tyrant, but I've never seen anything other than Bear. What, with the builds and stuff? Active's really good. Tyrant summon build. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's probably... Not that long ago, we did do a weird build Wednesday when we went wide with summons. It was probably about three or four weeks ago now. I don't know if it's still on Twitch because I didn't upload it to YouTube. I don't know if the VOD's still there. But we did do one, like... Fairly recently. It's... The thing with the... Su the thing is with the summon stuff is that it's, he's just not very... It's more about going all in on the bear because the bear's the best summon that he has. So, like, the summon build, in my opinion, is just not... Even in collaboration... You have to collaborate with other summoners, and I don't think it's that good either. It's just a bit... 
Yeah. Like, the quality of other summons apart from the bear that that character gets is weak and poor, in my opinion. So, like, there isn't any other, like, great summon that they get. And yes, I'm including the totems in that. Right, please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Break my save forever. Because it's probably going to be like really confused now. It's like, why didn't you discard any cards? Is it going to go back to that screen? Or is it just going to like assume that I've discarded a card or something? Kind of nervous, chat. I'm kind of nervous. I really hope this doesn't bork my save. Okay. I think we're I think we're good. I'll I'll quickly do this so this doesn't happen again. I don't think I'm going to be playing expose. Like I mean I suppose I could. I could play it on the first turn and go invis and that gives me advantage against him. Eh, maybe I will. Maybe then it's a good idea to get rid of something like wild command. Okay, good. Yeah. So in terms of like spawning then, he's going to spawn here in the first turn. So he can go really early. I think it's like an 11 or something. So if we can try and go like below that initiative too, that's quite important here. But the idea is, is that we're just going to kind of run, run away from him here. I'll probably end up having to use a low initiative just to get away. And then we will potentially just get these cards back. You also want to like chuck the bear sort of this way and hope the bear doesn't get hit. Can be a bit tricky. Yeah, I really need to go before him, don't I? I want to make sure that I go before. I think he's got like an 11. I swear he's got like an 11 or something like that. I'm just going to assume he has. So I'm going to kind of run away a little bit here. Go and hide somewhere. So if I, if I play 11s, I should be good. Huge brain. Wait, wait, I protect 11. Are you kidding me? I select 11. All right. <laughs> That's not fair. I selected a... <laughs> no that's not that was not what was meant to happen right nine there we go don't deny me do not deny me this i feel like we've moved around a lot here too there goes there Perfect. Okay. So he's going to spawn there. And what is he doing? Moving four. Oh, he's not. Oh, he is attacking. It's going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, can I even get away with a move two? I can't even get away with a move two. What am I doing with my life? Oh, I suppose I could maybe protect and go invisible. I could go invisible in front of him. That could that would do it. Like so if I was to go to like here and I was to go like invisible invisible. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, that would work. Can I move two, please? What? What? 
It's a triangle obstacle. I didn't even notice that. And now I'm in it. Exploit? <laughs> Is this an exploit? Did I just get three point of movement? <laughs> Did I just get three point of movement? That uh, that can't be right. <laughs> what? Yeah, I just did a move three with a move two. Uh, I'm very confused right now. How? But how? That's crazy. Well, I guess we just leave it. We just leave it at that. I'll go down this way instead. Maybe that'll be less broken. Comfortable shoes. <laughs> if only. Go in this here. Oh, we'll expose. What I'm interested to know is that will the doom stay on him when he go when he teleports away? I mean, I presume it will. Why am I not invisible now? What, why are these bugs? Why am I not invisible now? Because I play, I went invisible, then played exposed, and it lost everybody. Lost invisibility. Is this real life? What's going on, chat? This is like, we really just exposed like every bug in the game. What is going on? No, I'm not even invisible. Definitely not invisible. This is so random. So th it must be something to do with the coding on expose. This, if you're invisible, you just everyone loses invisible. How weird. That's so strange. That's so strange, right? <laughs> Groundhog Day? It feels like it. Right. Maybe we'll maybe we won't find a bug this time. Maybe. He's exposed. <laughs> Doomstalk has been cancelled fully. Right. Okay. And then if we go invisible afterwards, we should probably be okay, I think.
Okay. Something's happening. Heal one. Right. Have I screwed this up as well? I think I have, haven't I? Cheats! <gasps> Cheats! <laughs> that definitely Ooh. This is like this is like when we play Metal Gear Solid and you plug the controller into the other port chat. This is what this is like. Is this an obstacle here? He can go to there. I'm going to have to drop back, but I'm going to get immobilized. Oh, this is... I'm just getting on with it now. <laughs> this feels so weird. Because I'm going to get immobilized by this dude. Which is not very cool, because now I can't glass hammer him. Have weird things happen that after a restart fix, stuff like portrait switched and every card selecting the next card down instead of the ones you picked. <laughs> that sounds like a fun variant. I like it. Bit of an added challenge. Oh, I'm just gonna hate being immobilized here. It was like the only option that I had. Oh, that sucks. All right, then we have to get the uh, glass hammer back. Bit more, bit more ancient ward. Bit more of that. Is he going to attack? He's attacking again. Seventeen. That kind of blows a little bit. Let's find out what happens when he teleports. Let's we'll see what happens when he teleports. Let's see if we can still see him with the tab view. Death Prod, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the quest. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Your favorite bug was the grab bug where your Sun Keeper would just run off into the distance and never stop. My people need me. Have you seen the video that I did on that Emerald? On Dig Pit? <coughs> if you like that, watch the video that I did called uh, Dig Pit is the Breast Card in Gloomhaven. I'll come in what the name of the card is. You'll like it.
Yeah, the dick pic glitch was actually insane. If you recall, the Doom got removed when you played this scenario. Really? I hope not. Because I don't see why that would be the case. Because he just teleports, right? And then he's just invisible, really. But I don't know. Maybe not. Well, technically in the board game, I guess he gets he he re removes himself from the board in the board game, right? So maybe maybe the Doom would fall off. Hickson, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. But like in the board game, right, you're supposed to actually remove him from the board. Hmm. I do when you play this one did the same thing with race hmm you wanted to do it just didn't let you it's it's a weird rules one because i mean if you go by the book it would kind of imply like could you really doom an enemy who's not even present <laughs> they're not even on the board oh i bet you someone's asked that question somewhere Somewhere on the BGG forum, somebody has asked that question. I mean, it, we're all in on Ancient Ward here, right? We got nothing else. There's a lot of curses incoming here. Not what I like to see. Bye. Oh. So now, like, you can see his outline, but he's not. So he's kind of in this there. It was kind of rough, huh? I'm about to get attacked for a lot by random things, too. I probably should have played camouflage there. A bit greedy. I think we're going to be full of curses after this round, chat. Actually, just full. a good scenario to farm forest him kills very true get it in one scenario pretty quick well glass hammer's not looking like it's on the table anymore huh we might have just lost this scenario already Yeah, I think we've lost this already. Oh. At least they're fairly equally... Well, no, they're not equally split at all, actually. Jesus. Yeah, too many imps already. 
We've got no way of dealing with them, really. I guess, well, I mean, I guess we've got Flurry of Axes, right? I mean, I could just go for this. Get into a good position. Try and kill as many as possible. Uh, maybe that's okay. Uh, maybe that's okay, actually. It's worth a go. I got a lot of curses, though. I got a bunch. Imagine dark and skies here. It would be really good here. It would. I mean, th flurry's going to be good. We haven't actually done a big flurry yet. Um. Hmm. trying to work out like i don't want disadvantage against too many things it's really the imps that i care about here so this would be i if i go here i would be able to get this imp this imp this dude this guy in addition if i stay here though i can get this imp this imp so one two three four five six and just have disadvantage here which i balance out with the goggles anyway So it's basically six imps versus one, two, three, four, five, six. But then this is an elite, so it's pretty hard to kill. But also I get this harrower though. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight targets versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight targets. There's eight targets versus eight targets. Um the difference being that maybe I kill this harrower. It's pretty similar, to be honest. Before you take the retaliate three on the bear. Hmm. I also reached the elemental on the bottom left. Oh yeah, right, yeah. And yeah, but these guy, this guy's not so relevant because I'm gonna hopefully try to avoid him just entirely. The thing is that they're going to take retaliate damage here. So I'm going to take three if I don't do a decent attack. And let's face it, I got so many curses now. What have you? Like, I'm only attacking for two. I would need to draw at the times two to not take three retaliate damage. I mean, do I really care about the bear, though? Uh, bear versus trying to kill more imps. Then I have. Then if I draw a curse here, curse here. Yeah, like I will definitely... I could draw a curse here, curse here, and it'd be really bad. I could draw one curse here and it wouldn't be that bad. But I can't get away... I can't get away from this guy though. Right now. Or maybe I guess I can go invis like that, maybe. Yeah, 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 okay. I think, I think here's better, honestly. Oh, but I have this as well. Hmm. It's actually really close. Really, really close. And what to do here. There's a good chance that I just draw, like, double curse as well in certain enemies. Did I click tab during the round? He's still, he's still there. He's there, but not there. So obviously, because of the fact that I can pierce shields, I have better value really going against things that have more shield. Let's do it like this. I feel like, I feel like this gives me the best opportunity to not draw all of my freaking curses.
I take that. A lot of damage. damage. This guy's gonna. This guy's getting involved, though, right? He's he's getting involved. Nice. Very nice. I actually drew a lot of the curses out then too. A lot of them. So he's spawning up here this next turn, and he's moving for. So I can I can stay away from him right right now, but I'm gonna get hit by this and by this and by this. I'm getting hit by so much. This is why I really need the Invis Cape on the Berserker, or honestly, because I you can just prep. I really wish I had a third Invis Cape. I know that's very greedy, very very greedy. Maybe I should now we've got camouflage. Maybe I should just sell it and buy it on the Berserker instead. Might be better. What am I playing with you? Ancient Ward. So I can Ancient Ward this, maybe? Maybe this? I'm getting close to the Resolute Stand, right? If I can get myself to like one health, maybe I want to get attacked by one thing to get myself down to one. We'll see. <clears throat> oh, you're kidding me. I didn't mean to... Oh, whatever. I keep making so many silly mistakes. Ah, uh, it's not been my day today. I mean, we're doing well with the scenarios, but I've been making a lot of... Like, a lot of silly mistakes. Really, it's gotta be like you and you. Thanks. Like maybe I can finish this one off. That'll be a yes. All I do is play one card. <laughs> it's a really good card. I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe I just stun powder it. Right, so now I just need like the big attacks. Right, I got a double I got a couple of double attacks. Man, this scenario. So he is still doomed. And as far as I'm aware, he's been taking doom damage. Maybe. The bear is literally just a distraction at this point in time. Hey, Vaughn. Gloomhaven, didn't know I played this game. Is it new? Yes, hot off the presses. I'm really enjoying it so far, I have to say. Very good game.
You know that I'm going to draw this curse, chat. You just know it, right? I don't have the advantage anymore. You just know it. There is actually nothing else that could possibly happen here. You know that this is... Maybe if I do spiked armor first, bait it out. We bait it out. This guy's got retaliate four. I don't really want to go against... I have to go here. Ready for it? Oh, no. <laughs> No! So you're saying there's a chance? <laughs> I'm hiding. Oh no. Wound? <laughs> hey Zay Prunk. Will someone be able to just buy this game and get the hang of it? Or is there some prep that needs to be done? Um... Yeah, I mean, for playing um, digital, there's a tutorial and it teaches you how to play like the basics of the game. It is a very hard game though. It, there's, there's an element, I mean, it depends. Some people pick it up quickly, but there are elements of the game that are quite tricky. So although the game kind of teaches you how to play the basics, like playing your cards and what have you, it doesn't do, I think, a great job of teaching you like the strategy on like how to win. So uh, you might struggle a little bit to begin with, but don't be disheartened. Try the Guildmaster mode first. There's two modes of play. There's Campaign and Guildmaster. Guildmaster is the digital exclusive mode. And it's a little bit easier to begin with. So I would try that. And uh, get like used to it. On like how to kind of play the cards. And the general strategy of the game. Then uh, once you feel comfortable. Go into the Campaign. Which is like the tabletop experience. Because in the tabletop game. You needed to learn a lot more. Because you needed to learn all the rules. You needed to learn what the monsters do. Because you had to, you know, manage everything. You had to manually do everything. Whereas in digital, it takes care of all of that for you. Which is great. But does mean that you sometimes get confused. Like, why does that do that? I don't understand. So, yeah. And also, you can check out my YouTube channel. Which, which is this. And uh, I may, I've made a guide on every single character in the game. I've made guides on, like, beginner guides. I made loads and loads of stuff. So go check out my channel and uh, hopefully you'll find some useful um, stuff there. And thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. All right, I'm kind of tempted to go for this now. Go for the win. It's there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> shocked. Actually shocked. Unless you don't want spoilers. Yeah, I mean, that... I've always thought, like, that's a bit of a weird thing now, though, with digital. Or possibly. Like, the, um... I feel like the tabletop community are a lot more precious about spoilers. Which, in... So, if you're in this stream already, there are three huge spoilers on the screen right now. Well, four if you count the scenario. But there's, you know, lots of... Uh, 
sort of like stuff about the the spoilers in the game because in the tabletop version everything was like sealed in packets so you had to like unlock it and you had to open the seal and get everything out like so it's like a legacy game which you know means that players unlock things at different rates by doing different things and there's definitely an element of that uh whereas digital like i don't know video games people seem to be like less precious about especially when it comes to like classes whereas in the tabletop version the classes are the main kind of spoiler that everyone kind of really stays away from and that um that is like a weird thing for a for a video game because the video game people want to know what classes are in it like oh i really like playing this type of character like is it in the game um it's about like we're weirder we may have a new pair found me on YouTube. Really enjoying my stream. Awesome. Well, welcome, the Eugene. The screams as you land one final strike against it, and its form begins to dissipate. Black wisps of smoke escaping from the cracks in its armor. We got very lucky that scenario, by the way. <laughs> I want to point out that we played it pretty well to make sure we were in a position to win. But... Like, I was close to just, like, the previous scenario, I was like, the previous round, I was like, do you know what? Maybe we're just not going to win this. Like, maybe we should just reset. Because we, we had taken so many curses, we're on so low health. If we get, like, one bad round, it's over. So we literally pretty much had to win that round. And we miraculously didn't draw any of the curses. It's the giant warhorse pretty continues lucky. to stomp forward through the clearing. But it ages rapidly before your eyes. Grey hairs sprout feverishly out of its mane, and the horse shrinks as its muscles wane. It's one thing you love about the game. Everything might look awful, but if you plan a good couple of turns, you can really get things around, turn things around. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, you just need to, like, that's what I say, you need to just put yourself in a position to win. Like, sometimes when you're in a really bad spot, you're like, guys, this is going really badly. You just need to play to your outs. You know, if you know, like, well, yeah, it is going badly, but I know that if, like, next turn I have a really good turn and I can draw, like, a plus one on this enemy or I can do this and maybe if I can draw my, my crit or if I can, you know, if the, if an enemy does this ability, that which means that they don't do anything, maybe that buys me some time. That's usually, like, if you play to those elements of the game. And that's, I think, where, like, getting really good at the game comes in because you start to, like, learn that information. Whereas it might feel like, oh, it's hopeless. But sometimes you're like, well, if you know everything about the enemies, you're like, well, actually, it's not. Because this enemy could go do this, which is not going to affect you at all. This is going to go do this. That's going to be fine. You can go on this initiative and you can kind of, there's a window of opportunity there, right? And if you can take it, and when it does, it's really cool. Like stuff like this. Before it even reaches the edge of the clearing, the horse falls over as its brittle bones give way. And with it, an empty set of rusted armor. Within seconds, the horse and its rider. Yeah, definitely emerald. Dust. Ooh. And we got the two perk points. Yes. That's actually a big win. Big, big win. How do we not... How do we not... What? I mean, how much health... Does he have like three health or something? Must have had like three health. That's not fair. <laughs> he had three... Uh, come on. We got a break. <laughs> Give the guy a break. I mean, he tried really hard. We tried really hard to tank that scenario. Redthorn appears out of the thinning fog. I don't know how you did it, but I can already feel the forest lighten. It will take a long time. But I think the heart of the forest may one day be restored. Thank you, the orchid smiles. Come, let me lead you back to civilization. <laughs> he wanted to be more masochist by failing the quest and hurting himself emotionally. <laughs> uh, this angry face has got some issues, huh? Deep rooted issues. Oh, hi, Redthorn. Everyone's favorite NPC. Said no, whatever. Don't you just love the fact that he doesn't turn up when needed? And then on a scenario, on a scenario where you actually might need him to do something, he disappears. But on a scenario where he's like, we're going to go and like free these people, these captives, he becomes like the most OP NPC ever. He just doesn't. 
It's like, Red Thorn, you really need to know when to, like, get involved, you know? We got it. We did. We got a really good resolute stand. We didn't even need Glass Hammer in the end. But we got a really good resolute stand. And we drew really well on uh, Doomstalker. And we actually drew we drew pretty well on uh, on Beast Tyrant too. Like when we needed to, to just like kill a couple of things. We actually, uh, we managed to do it. Yeah, Resol Resolute Stan did... Eight, I want to say it did like 18 damage or something, didn't it? Something like that in that turn. Berserker doing what Berserker does. Exactly. 18, 18 damage. I think it was. And then we did... We probably did something like... 10, 10 damage or something with the... 10 to 12 damage with the Doomstalker. And then we did... 3 or 4 damage with... The Beast Tyrant. So yeah, that round we did... Well, we did like 38 damage in that round or something. We, did, we didn't actually even need the Doom. We didn't even need the 2 damage from the Doom. Um, right. Perk, 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 perk. Should we get the rolling stuns or let's... Oh, yeah, the rolling plus twos. Yeah. Going for big damage now. Get these rolling heals. They're very nice. The bad side of that, though, is we really didn't get... We didn't get the item. We didn't get the gold. We didn't really do anything. We just completed the boss. Which is fine. But... We haven't actually picked up any chests today. We've done a bad job of that. We've been kind of just scraping through the scenarios tonight. I wasn't I wasn't playing my best in some places, but somehow we got through it. Billy Maven just kept on giving for me today. I was, there was definitely some moments where I was like, what am I doing? I'm not doing a good job. Hey, Intercontinental Gaming. You're also streaming Gloomy, but your teammates are real bad dads. You want to see how it should be played? Well, you can always send them to my YouTube channel, buddy. Another YouTube plug. I'm on fire today. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. Then they'll become complete Gloomhaven pros. It's my, my Gloomhaven guarantee. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my city encounter. But then they making you look bad. Well, you can watch it. Yeah, you watch it first, right? And then that's fine. <laughs> you just have to watch it too. That's all good. It's a really, it's a really tough game, dude. But you know, like you spend spend some time doing it. It'll it'll get better. Like your teammates will get better. I I believe in them. It's just a weird game, I think, for people to understand. Trying to get that kind of. Uh, to understand, like, the kind of risk-reward of burning cards and also, like, understanding what enemies can do and, and how to play around different enemies. Because it's, in a, in a way, it's kind of like Dark Souls or something like that in, in, in a weird kind of way because all of the enemies, they have, like, eight different abilities that they can do. And, you know, they're only going to play one of those a turn so if you know what all eight are or you have a very good understanding of you don't i don't think you need to necessarily memorize what all eight are but if you have a very good understanding of the the problem cards like there's usually a couple of them that are just like the danger cards that you just need to stay away from or or be wary of if you know to play around those then you'll immediately do better um like it's and, it, and it's like, yeah, it's like a, any, like a Dark Souls boss, right? They have like a pattern and you can, once you kind of get to learn the patterns a bit, you can generally uh, avoid a lot of damage that way. <laughs> Good comparison. I, guess, I mean, it's a hard game. This is, this is too. But yeah, if you want to learn about all of that kind of stuff, um, if you go to my tool spreadsheet on there, I've collected a lot of resources that are mainly from the board game that they haven't included into digital to help you um like you know basically bridge that gap a little bit because in if you were playing in the uh, in the physical game you would have access to this information or you'd be much more aware of it so if you go to my my tool spreadsheet you can go to the enemy deck i think it's what i've got it down as enemies have i 
monster stats and abilities go to monster stats and abilities and then there's everything there so like if you go into a scenario and you know the like you can just have this up on another monitor if you've got it and that'll help you kind of maybe get an understanding of like the kind of things that the enemies can do that might help um to the encounter last thing before logging or save for the next night i always do this as the last thing before before we finish so this is always the last thing we do on the stream Right, which option are we going for, chat? Cast your votes. You are walking home late at night when you hear some suspicious sounds coming from a nearby garden. You move to investigate, and a shadowy figure bolts in the opposite direction, carrying an armful of vegetables. Do we, option one, give chase. Thieves must be brought to justice. Or option two, the thief had the right idea. Grab some vegetables for yourselves. And thank you so much for the follow, Intercontinental. Really appreciate it. Bear wants asparagus. You don't ooh, give a bear asparagus, dude. Imagine the gas. Imagine the smell. <laughs> that bear don't smell good already. You can give it an asparagus? You crazy? Uh. That ain't good. <laughs> that ain't good. Oh, I didn't even see the pun. Asparagus? Very clever. Very clever. All right. All right I'll give you that one. That's, that was pretty good. I like it. Oh, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub as well. Intercontinental. That's really, really, really kind of you. Welcome to the Adventure Pie, my friend. Glad to have you here with us on our Gloomhaven journey. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a great day. What are we doing? Option two. The thief had the right idea. Go grab some vegetables. In an area cut off from civilization with no viable farmland, fresh vegetables are a rare commodity. The thief already made off with an armful, so what's the harm in taking some more? When you get back to your room, you cook up a nice hearty soup and have a great meal. You have been blessed. Lovely. Awesome. Well, do we need to... Uh, I don't think we have many gold, do we? We have 15 gold. Do we have anything to actually buy? I don't think we do. We're just saving now for a little bit, right? We're saving here. We're saving here. We're saving here. Uh, I was going to I was gonna potentially buy the Invis Cape. Sell the Invis Cape and buy it here. But I think I need 15 for that, right? I think it's 15. So, yeah. So, we won't do that now. But I think that that is a potential swap there. Now that we've got camouflage, I think maybe it's a better swap. Because then at least we can do that run in, flurry of axes, do as much damage as possible, go invisible and just feel safe. Like that's one of the big problems that we're having at the moment is trying to find a safe opportunity to flurry is really difficult. Like think about how like that ooze scenario would have been way easier if we could have just jumped in, done the flurry, gone invisible and just been like, yep, yeah, we don't care. Like we could have just wiped probably... The imps, the the terrors, but instead we had to like come up with a really like elaborate way to deal. We had to teleport the terror away because we couldn't deal with it and all of this stuff. Like we had to kind of do loads of weird things. So yeah, I think it would have made it would have made things a lot easier and it allows you to play super aggressive, which I always love doing. And that wraps another episode of Deadly. I don't think I was really on peak performance this time. Um, I've had a very long week and yeah, I was a bit tired and I made a few mistakes here or there. Luckily, Gloomhaven didn't punish me for it too much at times. So we managed to get through the scenarios with a, a bit of good luck here and there where we needed it. And yeah, we managed to kind of pull ourselves together when we wanted to. But yeah, there was definitely a few moments where I just thought, what am I doing? I'm just having like uh, making some bad decisions on some uh, some plays or forgetting things. And yeah, sometimes that can really, really come back to hurt you. And you can just lose scenarios, especially at high levels of difficulty because of that. And our party is not particularly the strongest in terms of being able to sort of tank and be able to roll with the punches a little bit when those things happen. But we came out with uh, with three wins, which is just really, really good. And yeah, I'm actually I'm really growing to, to like this pie. I think we've got a lot of potential and it's certainly going to make it a lot more interesting and a lot more close finishes than maybe we might have with uh, the previous pie that we had.
as always guys if you did enjoy the video please do toss it a like and subscribe it helps me out so so much here on youtube and i do really really appreciate it also come over to twitch.tv slash mandatory quest every monday wednesday and sunday when i'm streaming gloomhaven mondays and wednesdays is the deadly stream sundays is the community save where i play multiplayer with viewers so if you'd like to play multiplayer with me and with others then come to the stream on a sunday all right then that wraps another video i will catch you in the next one bye I think so. Yeah. Oh, that's the first thing from Jeff. That's the blessing from Isaac. At this point, can we uh, get your approval to add an additional attack modifier deck <laughs> for allies in the digital version? <laughs>